Hi, hi. Hey, everybody. I am T. Lobotomy Shiroe Hakuro. Nunta Vod Watchers Lurkers. It's great to see you. I hope you're all doing incredibly. I also, please be sure not to spam in chat. I know sometimes you can get really excited, which is great. But yeah, just be careful. And, and yeah, I'm so excited. Do you want to do with the spoke world? Good morning. Good morning, Zina. Oh, this is the gacha game that really made my college years worth it. No way. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to experience this. This was one of the first game recommendations I think I ever got on the channel. It was first suggested, I think, by Raven a long time ago. A long time ago, like like five months ago, almost six. I, I think this month is six months that we've been streaming, that I've been streaming, which is crazy. Happy six months. We'll be doing something, we'll have some things planned for a little later, but I'm super excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water on the hill. Hi, hi, EJ. I have some strong ties to this wine because it was my first gacha. I wonder how many people like this was the first gacha for. I cannot wait. Okay, I'll just switch everything over and we're good to go. So if you'd like to follow along, there is a penned playlist in the comments. This is one. Thank you, Raven, for helping compile this. I was able to check my playlist to yours. And yeah, we have a lot to get through. So starting with the Honkai Impact 3rd gameplay video. Disaster called Honkai. So I don't know what a Honkai is. I'm assuming it's, a, it's some sort of disaster. Awaiting your orders. The animation. It doesn't look bad. I, I really like the architecture. It's so pretty. And I hope the audio is okay. I'll, I'll try and adjust it as we go. See, Freya, deciding to, deciding destiny. So I'm assuming these are like the first characters. I recognize the one on the left. The others, I feel like I've seen them before somewhere. I feel super familiar. White silk. Yeah, this feels like. This was like an anime trailer where a lot's happening is getting thrown in your face. But fighting Honkai to get there. Oh, Kiana. <laughs> the punishing Grey Raven in me. Just got excited. So a lot of... I'm, I'm assuming it's like these smaller sages. Oh, Kiana, Melon, Bronya, my girls! Oh, nice, nice, Shirue. I love the voice acting too. It's so fine. Oh, and Raiden. I've heard so much about Raiden and like MiHoYo games. How some version of Raiden shows up everywhere. I, I feel like this comes up. I feel like this comes up because there's one in, in Star Rail and Genshin, right? And a lot of the same voice actor. Or do they all in JP here? I, I don't remember. Is it English? English has like different dub actors. God, the memories. <laughs> really? From GTC and Hongai. Gaku and Hongai. Let me tell you, the art style uses so much memory. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know how soon I'll be able to run this, but... <laughs> oh, thanks for the member, Raven. <laughs> Welcome to Satellite. <laughs> You're so sweet. And I, I do love all of the <laughs> the fun little details. It's sort of like there are cubs in, in PGR, or like, do they call them stands in JoJo? <laughs> it's like you have those little helpers. Or floating weapons. I think they're so fine. <sighs> oh, yeah, <laughs> such big arms. <laughs> Such big arms. And these enemies all have to take sides. I wonder if that means anything. The graphics. <laughs> Sorry. I I just... It looks really good. It looks really good. D does the background look like a PNG image here? <laughs> I think it sort of does. Probably for, like, graphics and things. Hey, Flareon. Guns. Ronya must be the worst gameplay so far. Really? The old battleship? A final lesson is here. I'm gonna cry all over. This goes all the way to like the most recent. I think the latest game update that this reaches to on the playlist is 7.3. We're going to 7.3. We'll make it somehow. We'll make it somehow. Oh, the music is so nice too. I love this logo. And now I see these are the hands. Oh, whatever that big thing is. Whatever the big. Is this a mech? A mech game? Is this like a. a a Gundam game. Not Gundam, but like sort of. The next is a gameplay video. 
The music sounds really similar. The third Honkai War. So a lot of similar visuals. Oh, that's why it's Honkai and Back to the Road. <laughs> it's the third Honkai War. <laughs> oh, character action like DMC here. Mecha anime girl. Oh, but they do have battle suits. I see, I see. Okay. It's the same video. The same one twice. They're from the... Yeah, they're the same length. <laughs> they're both from Honkai and Back to the Road. Okay, we'll skip ahead. To the first CG. <laughs> Honkai Impact, third CG. <gasps> No subtitles available. So we're Owen Spears with Kiara. The voice acting. Does this is this a space game? It looks like we're in space. Falling down. This would be so scary. The skydiving. Ugh. Ugh. Would I ever skydive? Maybe. Maybe. Also falling like down to a planet. The music is so like <laughs> it's so high for it too. Oh, not the planet, but like a chef. There's this like laser. I have no idea what's happening. Is it like a robot chef? A ship of robots? This is, this is punishing Grey Raven all over. Humans or robot humans from space fall to earth to fight robots. The nostalgia. Oh, juggle physics, Aking Taco. There were some juggle physics, I won't lie. I won't lie. When Nana Machines become successful after the feat of All Raiden and Metal Gear 5 uprising after- <laughs> This seems like a Metal Gear spoiler. <laughs> but I'll- Percent I understand the reference. Okay, Mihoyo. Tak- Takotaku save the world. Yai Sakura. An open- Open world. New patch. The piano's so pretty. Do you get to roam around and like explore? Virtual open world. I, I wonder if there are like little zones you can run around in. That'd be fun, like like a hub or a base. Anime Mecha Girl Drew. Oh. <laughs> oh oh, but yeah, this is this is a playlist I compiled from a few sources, including Ravens. <laughs> yeah, I found some missing videos from from all over. Oh, the architecture is so pretty. So a linked scene. Is this a game where you pull for weapons? <laughs> it is, isn't it? We have, we have to pull for weapons. <laughs> I I think PGR is my first weapons gotcha. <laughs> it's fine. You do, don't you? You absolutely do. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. I, I'm sure I'll learn to love it eventually. <laughs> I'll learn to love weapons gotcha. <gasps> oh, I didn't know any better. I, <laughs> I'd say Spectre. Spectre Arknights. You can farm weapons. Oh, but you pull for weapons and things like stigmata. Oh, I see, I see. All these voices. So much happening. So much happening. And like the drop too. I love the character designs. I, I feel like these could be, again, like all of these characters. Why can every gacha character like pass as a meat super? Like, why can they? I, I don't know how like the controls handle or if there, there are combos or, or just button mashing. I'm excited to try. Looks like there's target lock on, which is nice. Ooh, seven weeks for a second across. <laughs> Too lazy. I see Nunta. The music is iconic. And the setting has me so curious because it seems like we're all over the place. We're like in space, we're on airships, we're on the ground. I wonder if this is also post apocalyptic. It's a Honkai war. It looks like we're fighting people. Maybe they're not people, maybe they're, they're robots. Early Kevin as a boss. I want to get it all ele elemental damage. Wait, really? Oh, that's a fox, not a bunny. A fox. A fox, then. Is, is this pink character really a fox? That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I, again, I feel like the soundtrack is just iconic. I've every gotcha game is soundtrack. <laughs> okay, dorm life expansion. The animation, too. So this is Branya. Oh, type creature. Branya. I, I really love the the color scheme. I think it works really well for Branya. It's giving like mechanic or technician, engineer. Oh, these are outfits. Oh, their outfits are so cute. <laughs> and little deep sleeper. Only dream. I wonder if these are different game modes. 
or stories or chapter. Maybe it's a timeline. Lost on awakening. Oh, was this a Branya event then? <gasps> Type preacher. Oh, on bio, they have battle suits and outfits. <gasps> oh, nice, nice. Those are mission chapters. I I cannot wait. <laughs> I think something so fun is. <gasps> oh, and we're still in dorm life expansion. They have chibis too. <laughs> it's like PGR. They're so cute. <laughs> the chibis are so cute. And any gacha game that has furniture, I'm down for. <laughs> I think it's so fun to customize. Oh, I I know most gacha players might not be into this, but I love this so much. You can carry them around. It's like the meme maker. It's like 3D as meme maker. Oh, so fun. I love everything about this. Love everything about this. And like all the themes. Incredible. Incredible. And next is St. Raphael Homecoming Fair. The best part is you can control the chibis. <laughs> when gacha games make chibis playable. Very, very like high paced, fast action. Apocalypse. The music is so good. And the animations. I know this is like an old game, but they don't, they don't look bad. They look pretty good. Okay, third. <laughs> they really went all out with this logo. Oh yeah, wasn't impact added for like just the localization? I feel like I read that somewhere. That like originally or like the the C inversion is just Honkai Third. Oh, and this song. This guitar goes so hard. And Saint Freya. <gasps> we get to play as a bunny. We get to play as a bunny. So these are the bunnies, not the foxes. And the characters. I'm so confused. But intrigued. Limited weapon. I done. <laughs> when when your when your space buns are, are really just a hammer. When you hide weights in your space buns, and suddenly, suddenly you become the weapon. You become the weapon. Cabbage. You haven't heard the iconic songs yet. Wait, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I turn the purum, or param, purum. Oh, this is a riding outfit. I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, all these flashes. I feel like those were spoiler cutscenes, but oh, oh, iconic. I love it so much. <laughs> and so this is Blazing Flames. It looks like Kiara's in a tube and someone's outside. I wonder if this is an origin story. And it just cuts away. Why is it sort of giving? <laughs> it's giving like anime AMV. Like an official AMV. The Sonic the Hedgehog AMV. And it happens on Earth. So like the actual Earth map. Like IRL. But the future or something. They're, they're dragons. <laughs> they're dragons now. And all these other creatures. And whoever this is, apocalypse. Everyone's living happily until tragedy struck. Real. My brain cells go absolutely ballistic from the weapon design. That's <laughs> repulsive. <laughs> really? We have, we have some critical opinions in chat. I, I wonder if, how things have changed. <gasps> New character. Oh, this is like, like punching. Avalanche, avalanche punch. <laughs> One punch. <laughs> wow. So here are all the, like, the moves. Is this just a character introduction trailer? If so, they went so hard for a character intro. All the moves. I wonder if this was one of the first like big gacha games. If this sort of like set the trends for some others and whatever's happening here. You faded on. You like switched people. This reminds me of like codings and codings and, and PGR. This was still small budget. No way. Fu <laughs> was a boxer. Kung Fu. Literally Kung Fu. Oh, Feng Huang, Phoenix, my girl. Wow. I, I love the Phoenix theme in characters. So it looks like we already have like some other imagery. The target point has been found. I don't know what it is. I really love something about the architecture and like traditional, a, a lot of traditional Eastern architectures. I know they're very distinct and different, but oh, I think they're so fun. I've, I've been to like some shrines IRL and they're so pretty. <laughs> they're so pretty. 
A Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix Fuhua. Incredible. And again, this is still low budget. <laughs> the fidelity feels kind of low. But this is still low budget. That's crazy. Second of all, I have all of these, <laughs> all of the pills, trust me. Really. And this, we have mounts too. I think I'll raise. I don't know why it changed. I think it lowered, lowered the resolution. It's better now. And again, these, we're fighting these creatures. They're like robots, mechanoids, androids. I don't know what quite they are. Eh? What they exactly are, but it looks so good. And like the, the meteors of the asteroids falling in the background. So iconic. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. I, I think so far, it feels very, like, yeah, it's low budget, but it has, it has a lot of personality. It has so much personality. The next video is Ritual. Emilio revived. Those creatures are hunkai. You can think of them as zombie virus. Oh, they're the hunkai. Hunkai zombies and mechas. That's why they're called. Oh, that's why it's the hunkai war. Talon Fantasy Seven, based on Hunkai Third. Sony Game Station Three. Is this an arcade game? Is this an in in game <laughs> arcade game? Maybe it's just a trailer. Teko Taku saved the world. Is that what Mihoyo means? Or is that just their motto? Developer's log. So again, we're seeing a lot of our, our main cast. <gasps> something something just hits different about opera singers. <laughs> Post-apocalyptic opera singers. <laughs> they go so hard. <laughs> All these cubes. The, the evil world of cubes. <laughs> Geometry is the real final boss. <laughs> it's, it's, all, <laughs> it's all been math as the enemy the whole time. <laughs> I wonder if these are like memories. Aww. And whoever this character is, this like shadowy or like purpley, purpley figure. And eye colors change it. Oh, and here the, the beat drops. A tower. This reminds me again of, I think, Hyper Real Lee. <laughs> Lee Hyper Real from PGR. And the animation too. Also, it, it sort of looks like we have. As, as like the, the main characters. We have like Honkai powers. I, I feel like the wings look really similar. <laughs> this is a Benny move. <laughs> Accessing stage. Oh, are they different? Maybe this is a game mode. <laughs> Maybe this is a game mode. The Tower of Babylon. It's complicated. I see. So sort of like, like a matrix ritual. A ritual battle suit. I feel like a lot of these characters get so many outfits. Which I'm down for. I, as someone who's played Arknights, I'm kind of used to, like, getting- we're, we're lucky if a character gets more than one outfit. Sometimes even one outfit. So, so here, they all have so many. Even at the beginning of the game, too. Oh, it's canon chapter. It's a real story. So it's not just side. The way of video games are not only canon, but <laughs> but pivotal to the plot. <laughs> Incredible. We love to see it. We love to see it. <laughs> when when all of your <laughs> all of your characters in, in Gacha are gamers too. I wonder who that person in the back left is, with like the the mask, and the, the weird like markings. So maybe that's the final boss. <gasps> but wow, <laughs> wow, already. I, I have to applaud the effort and like, they're animating so many of these. That must take so much like budget and everything. Next is Battle of Shiksel. Battle of Shiksel. So again with these airships and are they over a city maybe? The gaming setup. <laughs> Engineer gaming. <laughs> For real. <sighs> this is so pretty. I love the chains. I, this would be such a fun cosplay. Night Squire. <gasps> and the music changes too. It's so much more like, is it guttural? It, it feels very mechanical. And new armor, the sixth serenade. This is so, so iconic. Is that Plague Doctor? Is that a Plague Doctor mask? Lobotomy Corporation trauma intensifies. We keep going. Everything's a Project Moon reference. Oh, do you wear it too? So these are the, these are the two new outfits. I, I really like the, the first one on the right. It's all good. Oh, where everything went wrong. This is the start of depression. Wait. 
is this game, is this game really that bad? Is it really that sad? <laughs> okay, new version, reburn. So sort of like reborn, but reburn. I wonder if it has anything to do with the Phoenix. Because Phoenix is like re rebirth or come back. So again, <laughs> it's so weird, but kind of nice <laughs> to see an actual map of IRL Earth <laughs> in a gacha game. <laughs> So all of these appearances, so many shots happening. And it looks like we're going to the city, whatever it is. Code 17, emergency. Is this where everything just goes down? Is the city not gonna be a city anymore? Is it that sad? Oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you came to make me cry. This girl's frontline in Arknights. Wait, Nikkei was close. Oh, I, I cannot wait. I mean, I know it's gonna be sad, but I, I can't wait to experience the story straight away. Warning action. Oh, they're fighting like on on a moving platform. It's very, this feels like Bayonetta trailers I've seen. I, I've wanted to play Bayonetta for a while. This feels so similar. Oh, sad. I don't think that's the right word for HI3, really. So we, we're running, <laughs> not the Naruto run. The Naruto run. Nia's position. So these are characters we've already met so far. And they're going toward whatever's inside the ship. Yeah. Moonblade. S rank battle suit. Is this the first S rank we've seen? Maybe it's the first one I'm noticing. S rank suit. It looks so powerful. Oh, reburn version. They updated the chapter one. Oh, I see him. The first S rank. Oh, was Night Moonbeam. I see, I see. <laughs> the animations. It feels so anime. But I'm here for it. Luna Kendred. Awakened Valkyrie. Awakened. I wonder what awakened means. Also the music. <laughs> the music is so, is so hyper. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, third. This feels very, it, it's still so distinct. Like, like I can see inspirations and similarities from like other gacha games that might've taken inspiration from HI3, but still, but still, it's so good. Okay. I, I feel like it's so good on its own. So next is Harsha of the Void. Vampire Daddy Daddy. <laughs> oh, Kiana has it special. Maybe Kiana does. I feel like there's always a, a mascot or a character that gets special treatment in gacha games. See myself in your eyes. Your moonlight. <gasps> Harsha of the Void. So this is Night Moonbeam. <gasps> and the guitar. So we're seeing all these visuals, visuals, it feels very flowy. Like, almost like angelic, but terrifying. The life duty, <laughs> the life duty. Battlestorm, and this is, I didn't pause quickly enough. I think Kriegslammer, Kriegsmesser, Kriegsmesser. Although I can see status effects. <laughs> Already I know I have to learn so much about this game. Okay, so it looks like cold. Will of the Hesha. I, I wonder how much of a story, <laughs> how much of a story context some of the outfits have. Also Valentine's. Oh, a date with Valkyries. <gasps> oh, it's sort of like cheapy. It's not cheapy, but it's giving cheapy. <laughs> it, it feels like they've been Pokemonified. <laughs> Why does this feel like, like they've been Pokemonified a little? <laughs> sort of. Oh, romantic memories. <gasps> Wait, that looks so cute. <laughs> This entire setting, I love the music. It's giving like like a fourth anniversary. <laughs> They're at Mihoyo. <laughs> They're at Mihoyo. Summer outfits. Helps humanity. The robots are the humans themselves. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a valid question. The switch is wild. <laughs> yeah, we just straight up went from like horrifying, traumatizing, gritty even <laughs> to the cutesiest thing ever. Valentine's event. Also the watermelon. We love to see watermelon. <laughs> And next, oh, not the angsty guitar again. Okay, anniversary, anniversary rave. Are there concerts here too? I have so many concerts to watch. <laughs> I have so many. And so someone wearing, or not wearing, but like with a half lit up set of wings and the other half dark. I wonder what that means. The music is so good though. <laughs> Looks like we're all in the scene. <gasps> That's Hersha. <gasps> That's Hersha, really. Oh, 
Barnard's, <laughs> Barnard's playable win. There are three concerts. I need to, I need to react to all of these <laughs> eventually. Also the graphics. <laughs> Look, check out this freezer house. <laughs> check out this freezer house. Guy inhibitors, neutralizing serum. Oh, so if you use this or like inject it to people, does that cure them from Honkai? I love this character design. <laughs> Incredible. Seeker of God. Auto Apocalypse. Reader Rosways. So these are more characters we're meeting. Lost Memories. Angry Dragon. <laughs> Auto. Murata. I'm seeing weapons. This is so cinematic. So, okay. A another. More, more of these outfits. The skins have been so distinct and like iconic. I, I feel like there's. There's not a lot you can like change sometimes, like with weapons and characters, fighting style, but it seems really like themed. Like all the flowers and the fire. And earlier there was like ice. It's so it's so pretty. It's so pretty. <sighs> Moving so quick too. And the music the music works so well with all of this. And how it got softer with all like the flower petals. Oh, ecliptic. Ik I don't know what this means. And I think it's German. Rita, Otto, one of the most important characters in the story. Really, everything's Otto's fault. What did Otto do? Oh, German for I love you. Oh, ich lieb dich. Ich, ich lieb dich. Something like that. Oh, oh, that's so sad. And isn't Otto a German name? Is Otto a German name? The final conflict. Conflagration. Conflagration, that's a big word. <laughs> okay, Deep Enigma. The beginning horns remind me of remind me of the song, I think it's Skyfall by Adele. Tell me this isn't Skyfall. That's totally Skyfall. That's totally Skyfall. Okay, so we're underwater now. Wherever this is, the deep. And the music changes. So we're underwater. I, I love the soundtrack. It's so pretty. An atoll. All of these like sea creatures, sea hong guy maybe. A Derek into the deep. Oh dear. A person who loves. <laughs> oh, objective one. Wake the Ninya. Ninya. And combatants. May Raiden and Dr. Dr. Tesla. <laughs> Not Dr. Tesla. Find the gem of desire. So it, it sounds like there are lots of artifacts, like in this world. Also, the way the way the scenes change so much. There's co-op too. <laughs> co-op. I can't wait to try my first gotcha co-op. That'll be so fun. I don't know if I'll play this first or if the Rainbow Six Siege event will come back in Arcanites, <laughs> the rerun. But I've been so looking forward to like gotcha co-op. Also, this big this big honkai. <laughs> We're zombie. See zombie. Such big hands. Oh, how does a person survive underwater? <laughs> With lots of air empty. <laughs> lots of air. I wonder if they're actually people. Striker Fulminata. An Agnet Quai. This one seems really small. And Queen of Frost. Oh, Rita. Godsbane battle suit. Oh, is the battle suit behind you? So they each have like their outfits and their battle suits. Do the battle suits get skins too? <laughs> So intriguing. And stalker. And some iron. Iron. Chad, I think I found my stalker. Oh, they removed co-op mode. Oh. We run R6s. Oh, it's next year or, or later. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll probably get to this first if my computer can handle the graphics. Battle suits are different forms. Oh, of the same character. They're not the mechas. I don't know. For, for a sec, I thought battle suits were mechas. But I see here. This new voice too, and that weapon, the elf system. Oh wait, it's so cute. You can have like a mini elf, a mini you, to come help fight. Oh, when the chibis are playable, the music is so good too. A lot of this reminds me of, is it, so something ladybug, miraculous ladybug? I haven't seen it before. But this is it's giving Miraculous Ladybug a little. Oh, Jingwei's wings. Battlesuits have their own types. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Bottles are blind pieces of equipment squeezed into a capsule. Really? Oh, it's it's so cute. And I thought I thought it couldn't get cuter than than having pets, but we're taking children into, into battle instead of having like a pet dog. We have a, a little child. It's like take your take your dot to work day. Take your dot to work. Hey, Melko. Yeah, miraculous ladybug. Oh, the elf system. I'm so I'm so interested. I also wonder because a few of you were saying co-op or like co-op isn't a thing anymore. I wonder how many game effects or like modes aren't around anymore. I wonder how much has been retired. Next is Ark City. <laughs> Ark City, like like Arknight City. Chat is Arknights. Arknights and <laughs> and Hawkeye. You should watch the Elf Academy animation. Ooh, I, I want to see that so badly. Also, this looks so creepy. Like, we're being- someone's plugged in, they're like, loading or charging. It's like they're restoring memories or gaining power. Dark City. I'd be so scared to ride in one of these. But like, the hanging trains. It looks so creepy. But like, futuristic and fun, maybe. Oh, so- so again, like, a very futuristic eastern architecture. With skyscrapers, too. Oh, so whoever this is, is is connected to our main characters. Oh, so this feels like a flashback, and there's some sort of device that changes. Stalker, or is that Rita? Young Rita. I feel so old for remembering this PV. <laughs> I really can back out. You're not old. When was it released? We'll, we'll just ignore when it was released. <laughs> also, again with the sides. And it looks like we have this, like, we transform into an animal. Some sort of dragon. I, I can't help but notice that a lot of our characters, like, fighting styles or animations are similar to the Honkai. I don't know if that's because we're using, like, or, or zombies. I mean, if it's, like, people taken over. It, it makes me wonder. It's like we're using the same virus or whatever Honkai is. Also, the barcode. That's so creepy. Like, a person has a barcode. What's the timeline, at least? I'd love to know, Graham. I'd love to know too. Arc City Open World. Imagine Arc City Open World. That'd be incredible. Oh. And next is Dreams of Gemini. <laughs> like Gemini. Dreams of Gemini. Oh, is this is this 2D? I think it's 3D. But the animation style changed for a bit. The visual effects. I wonder what this thing is. Breaking news. This had better be a meme. This had better be a meme. I, I could totally see one of these figures, like with the, the trade offer. Like, I, I, I provide and you provide on either side. Oh, and the, the glitching. Honkai Entertainment Weekly. Planner. Honkai. Honkai Entertainment. Can't handle, handle the Molotov and Plitz. Explosions at auditions. So. If it's a Honkai Entertainment, is the world called Honkai? Or is this like outside? Also, it's 2019. Is this like breaking the fourth wall? Oh, well, the goat. <laughs> Men idols exist in Honkai. Oh, they do IRL do. <laughs> I, I happen to know. But, oh. Yeah, there are some like, like male idol games I'd love to play. <laughs> they look so good. Oh, Molotov Terry and Blueberry Blitz. So cute. <laughs> Aww. Their animations too. The choreography is so pretty. Oh, I don't know. I just want a tail. <laughs> Tails are fun, but yeah, the tail animation. We love the tail animation. Oh, it's so stylistic too. Like I feel like I feel like their fighting styles are have so much personality, and it's so pretty. Oh, <laughs> kawaii for real. And they work together. Are those, are those their tails? They're holding their weapons with their tails. <laughs> They're holding with their tails. We don't talk about vodka lore. Oh, I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back. Men with muscular bodies as idols and <laughs> in feminine dresses. No, exactly, Game Taco. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh. Again with their animations. I feel like every... And they have like... Is this one unit 
of two characters because they work together. Another story. For the vodka girls. So it is vodka. This is vodka. That's funny. Stop making up new lines. Oh. And this butterfly. Dreams of Gemini. This has me so intrigued. I feel like this, more than any of the other trailers so far, makes me want to see the story. I want to know more. It feels so... Like, there are so many missing references and hidden things. And almost like... Like, bittersweet too. Like, it felt melancholic. Gotta go. Thanks for stopping by, Flareon. Ooh, tail sword fighting combat. Best thing ever. Absolutely. Co-sponsored. Okay, this is Honkai Kingdoms. It's an event by Destiny Financial Group. <sighs> okay, please refer to the event for details. This feels a lot like a commercial. <laughs> oh, here comes the lore. <laughs> Maybe. So ruins, ruined shattered peace. So this is the world. Oh, this doesn't look like the map of the earth. Where would this be? An island? Somewhere? Forgotten land. Maybe this is non canon. Or the past. Great kingdoms. They're fighting for the ruins. Weird. This feels like. This feels like those Minecraft videos where it's like. <laughs> I, I put three teams into Minecraft and hid a secret treasure in the middle. And there we are. Oh. oh, the Captain Verse. A multiverse. No way they have multiverses. <laughs> Before Olympus Company, there, there was Hawkeye Impact third. <gasps> oh, and the Shiksa Empire. So we're seeing a lot of recurring characters. And Jorman Gond, the Pirate Federation. <gasps> nice, nice. <gasps> so, they're, so they're fighting over these ruins. I wonder what's in the ruins to be so good. <laughs> well, you've been summoned. Is this us? <laughs> Is this us? <laughs> Is this the captain? Or <laughs> I love her cute bow. <laughs> what am I looking at? This looks like a chain chomp. This looks like a chain chomp <laughs> from Mario. The King Kong Skull Island. Oh, Honkai Company. <laughs> I'm missing impact. Oh, that's Omu. Omu. Oh, is that the treasure they're fighting for? <laughs> Honkai Kingdoms. <gasps> and the music too. It feels like, like almost like, is it Game Boy or DS? I don't know what that would be called. Like an older, like a really retro system or something. And next is 3.2, Undyne's, Undyne's Phantasm. Oh, just Homu event. It's very indicated that Honkai Star Rail, Genshin and Honkai Third are in the same multiverse. No way. No way. Oh, Homu's the mask guy. Homu is so cute. Homu is so cute. Sleep, Bronya. When you wake up, everything will be over. So, oh, this this is gonna be so sad, isn't it? So, betrayal, maybe they're siblings or besties, or, or romantic lovers. Who knows? If they're related, forget I said that they might be shipped. <laughs> oh, is that, that's a bear paw. Quantum pocket. Quantum pocket? It looks like there are lots of paw prints everywhere. Oh, that's not creepy or ominous at all. <laughs> Absolutely, Twilight. <laughs> oh, that's St. Freya, that church. Or the, the, the monastery. There's an orphanage. Oh, I, I can already see where this is going. What is it with games that have like orphans? Orphans, tragic backstories. They get separated. They come back later. Oh, too soon the days. Oh, yeah, besties. Besties, definitely. Absolutely. Oh, seal of seal. Oh, you'll head to another world. Is this it again like AUs or like, yeah, the multiverse? Is that auto? Is everything auto's fault and that's auto? Oh. Ranya. And the music. It's like we're fighting ghosts of the past or something. Weird. It, it reminds me a little of a certain reverse 1999 <laughs> chapter. Like being trapped in limbo. Oh. A Georgian Nokia Vakin? Is that the name? <laughs> Not auto. Swallowtail Phantasm. Again, like the word phantasm being used. Oh, Nokia. <laughs> Nokia. 
again with the music. I feel like with context, a lot of these attacks and like the music that comes with them, it, like feels so much more desperate or like, like emotional. Oh, and you're just drifting all alone. And like these two, two sides, Undyne's phantasm. So Undyne and Branya have some sort of connection and there, there are the butterflies from before. <laughs> the butterflies we saw before. Next is 3.3, Cyber Angel. There is time travel and multiverse theory. Wait, <laughs> so there's a lot going on. Is, is this a game that'll leave me confused about the timeline? I know a lot of people, I haven't played FNAF myself, but I've heard a lot of people get confused about like FNAF timelines. <laughs> Is this the same sort of game? Like it's a confused timeline. Called Seal. Oh, not Undyne. Sea of Butterflies. Oh. Best to watch lore videos. <laughs> I see. I see. I wonder how much lore you could like miss just by playing the base game. Just in a, a regular playthrough. So some sort of signals online. The intros are so good to these videos. All the trucks. I didn't realize we were in a, a city with explosions. What if you're the only savior? Oh, You can't save anyone at all. This- this feels like- Wait, will you save from Mania? Or Mania? Will you save them? Will you save from Kiana? Oh, This is all what Kiana's seeing. Oh, That's so sad. Savior, but traitor. The way the text just like flies through two people hugging. This is already pain. This is already pain. Not the cut to the character like looking on at like the ruins of a city. I can't see this again. I can't do this again. I can't do this again. This happened in like Jujutsu Kaisen. This happened in so many other shows and and tropes that don't come to mind. But but still, trying to be heroes. I'm sure you can handle the weight of one. Oh, not the pain. The window pain. <laughs> Should I put the Honkai Chronicles? Oh, oh, <laughs> I I might react to Honkai Chronicles eventually. But if you're the only savior in this disaster, I feel like that's a that's a lot of like gacha games like premise. But it seems that like Kiana really is alone. Oh, boy, Drifter. Oh, there's I feel like there's so much. Also, I just realized <laughs> Kiana has heterochromia. We both have differently colored eyes. <laughs> nice, nice. Bye. Oh, guns. Oh yeah, that's right, Kiana uses guns. I feel like I <laughs> I need to get used to all of their weapons. But you also have melee too. And Ranger, are sure, are sure of reason. A gun with this mech in the back, mech type. Oh, so that's what those are. Those are mechs, the like big arms that you can use. Oh, and those, those drills. <laughs> The big drills. But Kiana, you're out alone. There's a Hersher too. Hersher's there too. Aww. And all of these motorcycles. People on motorcycles just out of nowhere. Cyber Angel, zero exception. Lore reasons. Branya with the motorcycle. Oh, it's happening a lot as this continues or makes the prequel game semi canon through a retcon. Really? I'm, I'm so, I'm so curious. I'm so invested at this point. I feel like I have to play as much as I can. The next is 3.04, Edict of Twilight. Oh, okay, Edict of Twilight. So already we can sort of see someone waking up. It looks like you have this like tattoo on your chest that reminds me of, I think Sinclair, Sinclair and Demians from Lumis Company. Like it's a little different, but it feels similar. Unless it's like a necklace or something. Oh, this pink tree becomes a desert and we're just and we're just dead oh so again we're in these like very post-apocalyptic but like vaguely <laughs> vaguely like it's like futuristic or electronic but i don't see a lot of other people around it's like we're fighting these i'm assuming these are zombies a lot of these enemies look humanoid that's what they could be here oh and a sword so a scene of like running away or not running away, but fighting. Like a fiery sword and, and an icy sword. We're seeing lots of scenes I think we've seen before. Like some from the past and others that might be new. Aww. 
that, that, that totally gave like life flashing before your eyes. Oh, Twilight Paladin. Executor. Executor. Oh, lots of <laughs> a skirt of swords. That's such a clever design. A skirt of like blades. <sighs> or like it looks like a skirt of blades. It's me. <laughs> yeah, it's you, Twilight. You guessed it. It's Gavin. <laughs> Wait, that's Gavin. <gasps> that was Gavin. All these animations and the music too. Oh. It feels so very like, like I don't see a lot of sunshine around. It feels like very like dark. And the charred lands. Oh. A promise made. The longing. Are these a lot of the themes? No matter the price. And yeah, we've seen that we've seen this tombstone like flash through. Oh. Life. Fertility of life. Part the vile honkai. Imagine there's a plot twist and like the honkai are somehow god or misunderstood. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, it's like there's, there's gray because there are heroes, heroes, people who see themselves as heroes on both sides. I, I feel like that probably isn't the case if honkai is just like a virus. Hector knew Troy will fall. Well, Achilles knew death was foretold. Yet both stepped into battle just as fearless and bold. Oh. But yes, Twilight, this is your edict. <laughs> Gavin, the strongest man. Wow. Nexus 3.5. Self-destruct. So, Stygian, Stygian nymph. Stygian nymph. Oh, auto age 500 years old. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Oh, Kevin was the fire sword. Okay. So, here, here's the conspiracy theory board. <laughs> here it is. All of this evidence. Tenacious about tracking down K33. Is K33 Kiana? Is Kiana separated from everybody else? At least in the story. But this isn't Kiana. This character doesn't have heterochromia. Heliop Heliopolis. You'd be surprised. This is kind of giving. <laughs> it's kind of giving. What's it called? Not Rhodes Island. The other. The like Colombian factory. The, the research company business <laughs> business from arcanites also this this feels very axia arcanites <laughs> so eos oh ryan lab yeah it, it was giving ryan labs for a sec <laughs> so again these test tubes we saw kiana in one in an earlier visual is this an enemy like a zombie or a playable character or like a boss again self-destruct and we keep seeing this like yin and yang it's come up a few times at this point. Hawk of the Fog. Oh, Fu. Fu has an outfit. I can psych it type. I, I need to learn all these, like, types. This feels a lot more... This feels less, like, gameplay recorded and, like, more like a trailer. I think than the earlier videos. It's so... It's so well edited, too. Like, so many... And the animations, too. Do you want me to avenge you? So this is St Stygian Nymph. This is a seal outfit. Aww. And again, we see like two versions of seal. One with blue eyes and one with red. I wonder if they could be twins. They have their budget. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> for real, for real. Oh, wait, Fuha. Huh? They're both, they're both Fu. It's <laughs> not the self ship. <laughs> the self ship. <laughs> and all of these visuals. It's so cryptic. Oh, it's like tentacles or like limbs from the ground. That's creepy. That's so creepy. And the self destruct. Aww. Three, two, one. The way it changed from self destruct to destruction. Aww. And then it just ends. <laughs> How did it turn out? They left something. The serpent was to have the last laugh. Who's the serpent? <laughs> Who's the serpent? Also, the way Seal has two people, or like, is two Seals. <laughs> There's so much happening. There's so much happening. And this is back from, this is still four years ago. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. And next is, oh, there's a Japanese dub version too. Oh, I see, like, compared to, should I watch the Japanese dubs? Is it? <laughs> they're two different people. People eco. If they're two different people. I mean, they're two different people. <laughs> Dual ego. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, Dormund Gand. I... So was that originally Chinese? 
Maybe it was. Next nine is Ninjas Noir. Three point six. And this big blue moon. It's so it's so bright. <laughs> so bright. Now these crows or ravens, birds. That's so intimidating. The artwork looks really pretty. It's so it's so intimidating. So we're back in the city here. And the graphics, I feel like the graphics improved a ton. <laughs> they improved a ton. Path of the protector. We're running silently. I wonder if this is the same city that was falling apart earlier. And like Kiana's, what if you're the only like savior, but you can't save them. Oh, Brony, not here yet. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So still, very gun. <laughs> There's so much gun. <laughs> There's so much gun in this game. And, oh. And whoever this is, we can hear footsteps for the first time. The outfits are so iconic too. So it's like a, a gunfight. Like right next to each other. And the music. I'm so curious. I'm so curious about who that masked character was. Is that is that this fox maybe? I don't think it's our fox. Our fox friend. Like I'm fighting all of these like infected zombies. I think we can see them a little better now. With the graphics increase. And yeah. All of this purple and this creature. I think we've seen this before in another gotcha. I don't remember what this like mystical creature is called, but I've heard the name. Oh, Raven, also playable. Oh, in-game Kiana uses gun to shoot and punch. She shoot and punch? No way. Oh, thanks, thanks for the super Raven. You're so sweet, I need to go, but I will come back. We'll, we'll see you back soon. Oh. <laughs> when you use guns for everything. I imagine, I just imagine like a character punching, shooting with the gun, but also, you know, using it to brush their teeth, to like eat a meal as a utensil, all the things, you know, to sign your name. Okay. Oh, thanks so much for the gifted raven. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> You're so sweet. Please, if you were, if you received a membership, please, please thank Raven. Oh, the best part with Honkai is they get, get their art books and stuff for free. You just need to register. Wait, wait. I need to add this to my to-do list. I need to add this to my to-do list. That's crazy. I'm assuming it's like like a digital download. Also had a power up. Oh, where she had cat paws to attack enemies. Because what goes better with a gun than the cat paws? Oh. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, see you soon, Twilight. And next is Sublime Spring. I feel like the, the last time I heard someone say Sublime was, 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 was it Ken from like the Barbie movie? Does Ken yell Sublime? I feel like I heard that happen. So here we are looking at like the hemisphere, the planet. It looks so pretty. So again, yin yang. And we're seeing, we're seeing 615, year 615, Taihuan Mountain. I wonder if this means that we're seeing, is it Fu? I think it is Fu. Or like a character connected with Fu. Maybe this is time travel. Maybe we're seeing time travel. <laughs> Those lanterns are so cute. Or like the little, the, the glowy like pots with something inside. Flowers bloom. Or is this a new character? I think this might be new. Again, so much emphasis on yin and yang. It is Fu. It is Fu. Nice, nice. Fu lives that long. How old is Fu? How old is Fu? So if you see Yin Yang, always expect Fu. I see. I'll keep that in mind, Kintako. The art book is a legit physical art book. No way. I got a, Ki a Kiana stand back in 2020. Oh, nice. Fu is four years old. <laughs> it is so real for that. Iconic. I wonder what those symbols mean. And... So even in the battle animations, we see Yin Yang. I love the umbrella. The umbrella is is so real. To be able to fight people and just casually like pull out your umbrella and like still be in the middle of fighting. I mean, that takes a lot, I think. And these, these like wind instruments, incredible. 
And we're seeing this visual again. These are the lanterns. I think they're so pretty. I don't know what to call them. To the nine heavens. I said to watch life fleet in a dream. The way the planet turned. Okay, that was clever. That was clever. The planet turned. Yeah, this reminds me of a certain... A certain old character who we meet very early in Arknights. A certain spoilers years old character. Yeah, who might or might not be a doctor. It was so iconic in this visual too. So pretty. They fuck. Yeah, we're like... I get delayed. Oh, no worries, Grim. Yeah, that happens sometimes watching lives. I think this brings us to 24 videos on. We're up to 3.8. Dawn of Glory. Again, we see Cube. Vimmer Labs. Vimmer Labs. Durenda. Destroyer of Quantum Shades. So, we've heard a lot about, like, quantum here and there. I don't know if it's just a buzzword or whatever. Also the way, the way there's like this visual with color in the middle and it's like a faded or like the colors are kind of drained. I wonder if it's like this is, we're seeing what like used to be here or if we're looking through some sort of camera or is that the future? Is that the future you were talking about before in chat? Like it becomes a desert and no one's around anymore. So something's falling or rising. Whoever this person is. Oh. I'm hearing them talk about Kiana. Oh. And Kiana leaves. That was a city destroyed by Hunkai. Same timeline. Oh. Bianca. Argentina. At this rate, we might become a reaction channel. Yeah, we've been doing some reactions here and there, fuck. Yeah, I, I, I want to keep reacting to things, but also playing. Especially... When I can, I, I want to play the things I react to. I, I feel like that just adds to the experience. So here we are. This feels very Code of Brawl from Arknights. And these animations too. Again, the choreography, the music. So this is Durandal. Who, oh, is this the first time we're meeting Durandal? I think we've seen the name before. Valkyrie, Valkyrie Gloria. Oh. Plant reaction. I'm not a plant, I promise. Why, why would I be a plant? Mm. So again, with like, with like so much fire. I, again, I don't know all, all the elemental affiliations. It seems like there's fire, there's like ice. I think psychic might be a thing. I think there's a heavy emphasis on a lot of fire and like ice though. And in this lab, whatever, whatever that spitting cube is, it's a shape, our greatest enemy. It's back. Locked behind a door, dawn of glory. Dawn of glory. I don't know what to think. <laughs> I don't know what to think. I just have to play. Applause. Why is there applause? <laughs> and the subtitles. <laughs> the auto subtitles say applause. Oh, for not a plant, but a truck. <laughs> I, I feel like you all have to decide on, you all have to decide. Am I a plant, a frog, a truck? <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Oh, also, Un, I think it's Zin Zhao. Zin Zhao. Zin Zhao. I think that's how to say it. It's probably, it's probably really bad, but, but hi in Vietnamese. Next is post Guy Odyssey trailer. Ooh. Why not all of them? All of them! <laughs> you can't just pick all of the above. You, you can't just walk into the elevator and like spam press all the buttons. <laughs> that's not how this works. <laughs> What would I even be? What would I even be? Like a, a hybrid? A hybrid? <laughs> a hybrid plant frog truck? So it looks like we're. I didn't even. I don't. I didn't think the city could get more ruined, but I think it got more ruined. So we're on this road. We see the silhouette. Weird. <gasps> the way. The way these like street signs look like eyes, and the bridge or the tunnel looks like a mouth. That's creepy. That's really creepy. Apo, best of guy. Aaron, protagonist of guy. Oh, is that Apo? Oh, Adam. Also, the visuals too. It feels so like crisp and clear. Oh, is that Adam? Adam's design looks so good. I like both of their designs. The way another like fist fighter. Is that 
Is that Raiden? Or Raiden's outfit from before? Why were they showing all that back? A post Honkai Odyssey. Are those just the weapons left on the ground? Like they all died? Oh. Oh, Emile Valkyrie. Adam, Adam. <laughs> Adam in the future. Wait, can we play as Adam? Oh, that is May. Old May. Really? The yeah, I see. Can be any? Maybe so Gintako. <laughs> Maybe I'm everything. Eight years after the end of Hungar. So here's official gameplay. Wait. This is like spoilers for the whole game. So does nothing change? Is the world not saved? After Hongkai, St. Fountain. And May's still here. <gasps> Member of Squad, the way Adam's name was like hidden. And Carol. Oh. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. <laughs> so it seems like there are still like all these creatures and this big red thing. <laughs> This big red orb. How are they still around? Or are they like coming back again? Does Honkai never leave? Do, do the Honkai never die? Oh, the sky people. After Honkai, everything is fine. Beyond that is spoiler. Really? Everything is fine. I don't know, this doesn't seem fine. Unless they're all just like, you know, getting together for a, a nice, friendly brawl in the, the, the ruins of a big city. <laughs> yeah, we do this every Thursday. <laughs> We do this every Thursday. No one talks about Fight Club. <laughs> that's that's totally what's happening. <laughs> they they all go out and get dinner together afterward. It might look like they're beating each other up now, but but trust trust they're friends. <laughs> they're friends. <laughs> Gang slammed on the ground. <gasps> oh, the alien invasion. Oh, these aren't Honkai. They're Sky People. Okay, so specifically like aliens. So strange. I wonder if one day all. All the Nihoyo games will cross over and it'll be like this big thing. <laughs> like, was it Spider-Man No Way Home? I think No Way Home was the one with like like all the spider, all the Spider-Man from everywhere. And yeah, like imagine. Imagine a, a gacha game that does that. That'd be so iconic. <laughs> it's like all the, the Raidens meet each other, all the Mayas meet each other. Next to Starlet Stinktum. 3.9. Remember Ian? What they stole from us? Bunny girl anniversary. Wait, wait. <laughs> Did we miss an event in Ian? Like, I, I know gacha games sometimes skip things globally, but the people I love, the people they love, and everyone aware of their existence are the ones who made me who I am. That feels like a, a line I would see on a gravestone, like on, as an epitaph or something. <gasps> it's this sword in the ground. We've seen this happen a few times. I think the last time we saw a sword in the ground, it was like frozen. I don't think it was the- I think it was the ice sword, not a- not a fiery sword. The lance- the lance of destiny. So it seems like there are artifacts. Like, you've seen them. There have been artifacts mentioned before. And this animation. Whoever these people were. The music is so good. The music is so good. Are these battle suits or robots? Okay, Star Rail. Well, when seeing a similar face. Oh, it's Kiana time. Also, so much color in the city. So pretty, all the blues and greens. The, the plant life, the plant life in the canvas. This is very Ida, very Ida from, from PGR. Or like that Kirby Nintendo Switch game. And there's this big creature. Everyone forged the blade. Everyone forged the blade. Right, bright night Excelsius. It's a Bianca day. <laughs> it is a Bianca day today. Also, the live 2D is so good too. And the animations. <gasps> so pretty. So, so also, like, like, what's the word? Like, polished. When you know someone's good at fighting, that they, it's like they're not even breaking a sweat. Oh. And you have this, like, phantom who's fighting with you. <gasps> oh, Durin Dollar Doo. Doo Doo! <laughs> not Doo Doo. Chat, you can't. We can't normalize Doo Doo. <laughs> Maybe that's a, like a, a cuter name in another language, like doo doo. But I don't know. I don't know. Oh. So someone standing up on that like latch or like broken building. The, I don't know what it was, but like seeing plant life in an abandoned city or like a rundown set of ruins, I don't, I don't, I think it gives so much hope. It feels so hopeful. Maybe that's just me. 
I, I feel like a lot of games like with the ruins a ruined setting have like no plants it's like it's showing there's nothing left nothing survived there's, there's no water or anything but but they are oh next is honkai kingdoms we're back in honkai kingdoms we're so back we're so back oh do it and doll do do or duck duck is a fun name so i got very like somber and slow the artwork is so pretty here the artwork is so iconic it looks like we're like standing like next to a window. Unmatched general. Dude and doll has so many. Has so many skins. Or so many battle suits. <laughs> the eating. The eating noise. I'm sorry, it was the stretching sound. <laughs> Incredible. By the way, that's not peak. Wait, really? Ooh, Kazlana without me. Is Gavin? Maybe. Maybe Gintako. The chosen one. The chosen one, Kiana. <laughs> the true chosen one. Absolutely. And this noise. So it looks like that's some sort of. Is that like a scroll? A segmented scroll? And Larita. This feels like a, a different time period. This feels like a totally different time period. <laughs> Legendary Chancellor. Honkai Kingdoms. How much time has passed since the last Honkai Kingdoms? Has it been a while? Check me here. Is that... That's all of the trailer. Rekindled. Faction War. Oh, those are Isekai. Yeah, Captain Timeline. I feel like there's been a time skip since the last... The last Honkai Kingdoms. You have one of those wooden scrolls? No way! I... If you want to send a picture in Discord, I'd love to see Melko. Also, if any of you aren't in Discord, there is a link in the description if you'd like to talk about gotcha things or... Or other things. It's chaotic sometimes. <laughs> it's it's a fun time though. Lots of Project Moon and Arc Nights has been going on lately. 4.0. Lone Star Caser. Oh, the thunder, the rain. Again, these trailers, they start in such like a well a well shot way, I think. <laughs> it's like there's there's tension and, and it builds up. <laughs> it builds up. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. And down here in the rain. I feel like they tell a story. A lot of these trailers do a really good job of telling a story. Oh, and not giving away too much either. I feel like they, they tease. They, they tease so much. They're also really good. So here we are standing on a, like an airship with a, a mecha next to us. A Mikazuki. Am I allowed to say Durandal as Reed's voice actor? Does Durandal really hear? No way. This was the Genshin budget for the Genshin budget working for them. <laughs> they really got an upgrade. This kind of reminds me of Trails in the Sky. I, I won't spoil. This this kind of reminds me of like all the way through Trails from Zero, I think. I've I played the first few some of the first few Trails games recently. How far will I go for the Summist of Hope? Oh Tesla. Tesla and May. The music is so good. So they, they fly away from... I feel like we come back to the city all the time. I don't know what significance the city has in the story, but it's like... My <coughs> my expectation going in, just from what I've seen, is we time travel a lot. When we're not time traveling, we're, we're fighting people on other airships <laughs> and getting angsty in this ruined city <laughs> that might or might not still have people living, depending on the time zone, the time period we're in. <laughs> That's kind of, kind of what I'm getting. And also there are like... Multiverses that, that pop in sometimes and break the timeline. May trauma arc. Yes, that's the historical Tesla from our history. Oh, it's meant to be Nikola Tesla. Really? Oh, such a pretty view of the sky. Like the hand on the window. So pretty. Oh, but yes, Genshin budget working so hard. <laughs> we went from a city to a city. It looks like the same city. Maybe I should drop some PTR. Ooh, to make it more chaotic, please do. Please do, Graham. Oh wait, Anning's coming like Monday. I've been saving in PGR. So you're limping away. Did you have a crash or an accident? And there's Kiara. And this like purple, like purplish pinkish like glow. Oh, are you okay? No one knows my body better than me. Oh, that's here. The tear. Oh. 
this, this feels like, and then the tone shift, the tone shift. This feels like Kiana angst. And this blade again. I don't think that's the Spear of Destiny, but it feels like significant. And the voices too. Why does it look like, why does it look like we get we got teleported to Xenoblade 1? We're in Xenoblade 1 all over again. I really need to finish that game. This is so Xenoblade, you can't tell me otherwise. That's Clockworks, the annoying boss. Wait, really? Next trivia maze. Oh, old hack. Ooh. What no Kaslana does to you. So still fighting. Oh my god, the graphics look so look so nice. So with one one strike. Clockworks falls falls to the ground, maybe. So you're on the ground, still moving. What where did Clockworks come from? Is Clockworks a mecha, a hot guy from the future, from another timeline? Was Clockworks a human once? Who knows? I guess we'll just, we'll just have to play and find out. In the Lament of the Sith, there a thousand years elapsed. So this does feel like a time skip. A thousand years since, since Clockworks, the founding of Imperia, effort in peace and prosperity. It's a quantum creature. Oh, a quantum creature. When Huoto returned, the realm became three warring kingdoms. This feels very similar to Honkai Kingdoms. <laughs> Teresa. Starlit Astrology is such a, such a cute design. I, I love the color scheme. I love the color palette. It's so good. It seems like such a cozy outfit too. Oh, and the way, the way a lot of these attacks have like constellations. That's so, that's so cute and fun. Smile through the pain. Kong Ming, is this pain? Clockworks tells you when time, when it's time to give up. The way you described Clockworks in chat reminds me of like Sans Undertale. Sans from Undertale. So the music is so hyper. The story seems kind of sad, maybe. And we're fighting with like this this brush or feather duster. I feel like it's not a feather duster or a brush. It probably means something else. It reminds me of like a paintbrush or a feather duster though. And honestly, you're so real for fighting with one. Nexus 4.1, as thunder has filled the sky, sure of thunder descends, are sure of thunder. TSD flashbacks, wait, peak event, no comedy, only pain and suffering. Oh, oh no, <laughs> not the pain and suffering. So here, Coral City, salvation and redemption. Even the weakest amongst us fight to defend their faith and belief. Warning. Fight a nickel for every trailer that started with like a warning or a countdown. How many would I have? Probably too many to count. Secret call. Oh, that was Kevin. Chat, there was Kevin. Kevin appearance. Kevin, Raven, May, and Owl. A Kevin. A Honkai outbreak at City Center. So, is Honkai an energy? Also, we have Yin Yang, and now Ouroboros. I wonder what this means. How does this fit into the story? Maybe it's like a story about cycles or like 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 good and bad and everything coexisting. All these wind turbines. Oh, and those wind turbines look huge. Or this is a tiny city street. The electronic music. Again, and the ruins. So it's like, are we going to ruins and cure, not curing, but like, like people plug leaks in, in a raft or a boat that has a hole. Are, are we like plugging leaks and whatever Honkai is? Our destiny. I think I saw Kiana there too. Aggregation. Humanity searching for a solution. This feels so Lobotomy Corporation coded. <laughs> this feels so Project Moon coded. Our share of thunder. And this like, this neck in the background with the, the big arms and, and sword. Honkai just wants to factory reset humanity. Oh, that they're that kind of menace, really. So like eradicating people. And the the angles, everything. I'm I'm still I feel like I get I get blown away by the same things over and over. Also the hair looks really nice. Blonde purple hair. I don't know how you fight with that. <laughs> Big bird. 
So this big creature, I'm assuming this is Hongai, or Hongai's controlling this this bird. Or no, this there's there's Hongai zombies and the third thing. This is the third thing. Are these not Mystic Beasts? Are they Mystic Beasts? Pressure of Thunder. Ooh, peak. We're breaking up with the Kiana does to you. Oh, they were together. And another separator. Oh, understandable. Understandable. Well, she saw a store. Another elf. The elves are so cute. Head fats all around. This thunder spilled the sky. Oh, yeah. People were saying that, like, part two of Honkai, like, just dropped recently, or is about to drop soon. Next is Battle Suit. All in Rosemary. It looks like we're seeing, like, blueprints or schematics. A Rita suit. Oh, this is a showcase for Rita. So iconic. I wonder where that glowing orb is rotating. Again, the choreography. The way this, like, creature. <laughs> this creature it looks like we, like, blew a kiss and the creature, like, this dragon. It looks so huge. Like, it came out of the orb. Or, like, just spawned out of nowhere. Exclusive reveal. Oh, story writer. Totally Alan Rosemary. So this is like AI. Or not not AI. AU. <laughs> AU. Irene Irene Adler. Oh. Pink hair is neural and Arcanites. I love to see all of these. I love to see like the voice actors that carry over. I don't know these characters super well. To those two character pairs. I love that we're getting to see more, story, like, more into the, the story of this. Overseer Otto observed other worlds. Observed? Otto observed other worlds? Via the imaginary tree. The imaginary tree? The so, are Otto's observations, like, <laughs> the AUs we see, the multiverses we see? Oh, Otto mentioned. <laughs> Aria. Oh. Oh, maybe she's away. <laughs> maybe. The I mean, would you be could be by too. The new character we're talking about today. A fallen from Rosemary. From perspective, Ye, Kazumi, and Kaming are characters Kazumi brought and out Kaming. from the bubble universes. Bubble universes. So bubble universes are like, like multiverses. Concept, or, does that mean like pocket universe or pocket world? Last year, stories like Honkai Kingdoms and Sanka, yeah, Honkai Saga, Kingdoms. Sanka Saga. That's new. Basic concept of the captain abroad the Hyperion Sanka Saga. traveling in the Sea of Quanta. Sea of Quanta. I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I'm like sitting down, about to take a test, and I I didn't learn any of the keywords. But everyone knows I didn't learn any of the keywords. The new so there are more people traveling. Actually, symbolizes that around the sea. Has reached another phase. The captain's journey has reached a phase. Like previous designs, <gasps> We're seeing more artists. Was oh. by our CG artists. So this the is a concept artist. Then use these concepts to create the three view. <gasps> this okay. These these are the heroes of the world. <laughs> Artists are incredible. More, more power to you. If you're an artist and watching, thank you so much for what you're doing. <laughs> Even if you don't think you're that good, thank you. Thank you so much. There's another. Otto also entered Arknights. <gasps> Otto's fandom. No way. Sea of Quanta are unstable bubble worlds. While Imaginary Tree is the staple multiverse's AU. <gasps> oh. So they're... So, we have two teams so the captain. So we're like canonically going through bubble worlds. This feels sort of like Limbus Company AU, the protagonist going to other worlds. Yeah. We chose to include some witch, witch elements. elements. I wonder why. I I wonder how how much about these like characters reflect their like personalities or the way they view themselves. I'm so I'm so invested. I'm so curious. Black leasing. And black this, this would be a fun cosplay. A more ghostly and mysterious yeah, they almost look like tentacles too. The like, the the parts of the, would it count as a skirt or like a dress? I think like the bottom of the dress. It sort of feels like tentacles. Like especially if like you were in water and your like dress like floated up a little. I feel like it would, it would give the, we gave her three the sensation that there are tentacles. The owl, <gasps> you can summon the three. Viper. Owl, viper, and wolf. As well as fallen god with a lantern. And a fallen god. That's a big hand. That's a big hand. Honkai cosplay. Is Honkai cosplay bad or hard? The multiverse? Insert spooky noises. The, the multiverse. No one an animator. 
special considerations when creating movements. Moves as well as lethargic and seductive elements. So dancing lethargic and seductive. Again, so much work goes into this. <laughs> so much work goes into this. It's crazy. <sighs> this is so... I feel like I, I never, or at least a lot of people, never get the chance to see behind the scenes for a lot of these games. For example, I love that they made this video. I love that they made this. <sighs> it's hit or miss cosplay. Ooh. Every character visually shows their personality a lot. Oh, except some are sure. That's, I love when they include details that like tell you more about the character or, or show you more by what they're wearing. And like the way they move. It's like the... What's the word? Non-verbal. Like the non-verbal design choices. Oh. And the 2D. <laughs> Again with the big scythe. Home guy third. <laughs> so iconic. Well, and Rosemary is like based on the female villain of Sherlock Holmes. Hence the Irene Adler. <gasps> That's Irene Adler. Oh, I see. Yeah, the like sort of antagonist that Sherlock faces. That's Irene. Yeah. <laughs> I I know that name from so many places. <laughs> Warrior to the Patriot is one too. <gasps> Rosemary's Nocturne. So another Rosemary trailer, version 4.2. Cosplaying as Hawkeye depends on the funds and skills you have. Oh, the most important thing is you having fun with who you choose to cosplay. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> anytime I cosplay a character, I, I want to be sure like I, I'm feeling them, <laughs> feeling the vibe and having fun. Oh, and there's the mask guard. <laughs> the flashback, this, the flashback. This reminds me of Mr. Froggy <laughs> from BGR. Oh. Again, all of these flashbacks. 2017. What year is it? What year is it in Honkai right now? Is it like the real world? 2017. Or is it like or is it like futuristic? There's this big rock or frozen thing. Oh, the heart necklaces coming together. These two characters. I wonder who they are. I feel like we've seen one, maybe both before. Another, are they reunited? Oh. Valkyries of Immortal Blades face annihilation. Probably the most iconic PV theme coming up soon. I cannot wait to them. I cannot wait. Oh, they're the boss. These two. I wonder if there are parallels here. This sort of reminds me of... What's the name? There's a character from, like, Fire Emblem Echoes. And... I feel like this this dynamic feels really similar. <sighs> Fallen Rosemary. Oh, that was Fallen Rosemary. This enemy we fight. Rosemary's the boss. Or not the boss. I'm kind of confused, but we keep going. <laughs> I Maybe Rosemary just has a connection to this boss in some way. <laughs> maybe. Note to self, horrible touch. All of our Honkai cosplayers. I wouldn't touch cosplayers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I... I, I might work up the courage to like, I, 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 I don't know, I, I five for a picture or something or like, like, I don't know. What do you do for pictures of cosplayers? What do you do? What's normal and acceptable to take pictures with? Like, like how do you do that? How do you ask a cosplayer to take pictures? Oh, again, another tombstone. So sad. This is her sheriff. Oh, of eyes. Dance means conviction. Dante reminds me of Dante. It's because the world's been resetting. Every time the world loses to the Hongai. But there are remnants. So it's reset twice. Because this is the third war. Or maybe it's reset more times. Story chapter 29. <laughs> they have so many story chapters. I, they, they already have 29. How, how much Hongai impact do I have to catch up on? <laughs> how much do I have to catch up on? Rosemary's Floriograph. Ooh. This music seems so nice. And Black Nucleus. Luris de Ma. This music seems so happy. <laughs> Compared to the trauma that we saw before. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay. And moving on. 4.3. Rhythms of Neon. Rhythms of Neon. We're, we're up to like video 30. You have two options. Play all of part one for months. Or just play part two. Oh, can I skip part one? It's way more worth it than part two. Really? Okay, it's a lot of lore. Take your time. Before, I mean, planned. It's, it's, it's not, 
plant. It's not plant. But, ah, uh, okay. Maybe I'll start with part one soon. It depends on how, depends on how well my computer can run the game. So we're seeing the moon, the moth who chases the flames. Again, this is giving like Ryan laugh. <laughs> Ryan laughs a little. Protection and succession. Aww. So this is sort of like reverse 1999, except the world's not going backward in time. It's just resetting. Weird. And I wonder what the goal is of resetting. Is it like, do you just not like humans on guy? <laughs> Foo. Foo, me Foo mention. Foo mention. <laughs> And again, running through this like greenery. Part one's really good. A finished story where you won't get cliffhanged with game updates. Ooh, that actually would be nice <laughs> to play to completely play through a gotcha game story and and not have any cliffhangers at the end. That, that's totally never happened before. H has it happened before? I kind of hope it has. So again, we're back in the city. It seems like we're in a lot of different areas for Rhythm's Neon. Like. Maybe we're following two storylines with two groups of people. Like, like Kiara's group. I mean, Kiana's group. <laughs> and and this other section in the city. Also, these flashy attacks are so pretty. <laughs> but like, the pink and blue. The neon colors work so well. It almost feels like paint splashing, like Splatoon. <laughs> oh, reset the world just to end it all. <laughs> it's like civili civilization goes up and Honkai exists. Oh, to balance out. Oh, that I see, I see. So it's like yin and yang. It's literally yin and yang. And so every time civiliz civilization reaches a certain point, Honkai happens and like resets everything. And then civilization comes back. And it like, like the Ouroboros, that's what it means. And we're just trying to break the cycle. Tesla, Tesla elf, Honkai quest. Wait, is Honkai quest like, this feels so retro, like, an, like a retro game. It almost, it's almost giving like fire emblem too. I hope it's still playable someday. Maybe, maybe there will be a rerun. We don't, we don't talk about what happened to Vodka. Did they like fuse and turn into that last character? Because in Rhythms of Neon, we saw pink and blue in these hacks. Did Vodka have to like fuse? 4.4, Aurelia and Victa. It reminds me of a JJK spoiler of like siblings. Oh, so someone's on the ground. So much is happening so quickly. <laughs> the snake bites its own tail. No, exactly. Yeah. Yatta. Fuhua. Yatta time. And Arcanite's too. Dekin Brekker there. Oh, nice, nice. So you're on the ground. And we're meeting someone. Again, so confused about the lore. Red eyes. Red eyes. So some sort of conflict that kills whoever was on the ground. Are these fireworks? Oh. Or like something growing. Weird. I wonder. Who are you? And we're seeing all of these names. It's like who are you? And we see all of our I remember names. I almost said operators. <laughs> all of our team member names. The Sea of Quanta. So here is where we're going like through time. Are they like, is, is the who are you like the multiverse? Like not, not the imagination tree or the imaginary tree. But all these other versions save the world. Is this a crossover? Purpose of life. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The music, the music is so good too. So another D Ankara, another Durandul, Durandal. Durenda. D and Gora. And the way this attack like turned into armor. I feel like Durandal is so iconic. Durandal could just be the protagonist of a game. Of an entire story. I feel like I feel like a lot of these characters do have their protagonist moments. I don't know. Because it seems like they have like story bets and and backstory. At least I hope they do. <laughs> the way you used your foot. With with this bow. <laughs> that design is so clever here. That design is so clever. <laughs> Technically the main protagonist is Durandal is Durinda really? As I said, the most powerful Valkyrie in the era. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh, spoiler, Dutu is Kiana. 
The original and Keanu you see as a clone. Ooh. That does seem like a spoiler. <laughs> Wait, maybe let's avoid spoilers. <laughs> oh, they're all together. It reminds me a little of, like Lucia. Oh, and again, looking out at, instead of ruins, I like a horizon, a sea of stars. So nice. Yuru is OG Kiana. Oh, Kiana, what air is glowing? Wait, is this a, a neon genesis of Evangelion crossover? <laughs> Collab concept trailer? Is there an even Evangelion crossover? No way. No way. Ooh. I got Asuka. You dead? No way. So I'm, I'm so curious. I haven't seen Evangelion, Evangelion before. I want to. It's also on my list. So I don't know a lot of the story. Speed. And this like motorcycle or, or thing. Thing driving. Stop slow. You're going too fast. The true horror, speed limits. <laughs> the true horror is speed limits. Taco Taco saved the world. Did Mihoyo have an Evangelion collab? Is that a big creature? Fourth Angel. So they're these big creatures. Oh, Kiana, it looks like you've been bloodied or scarred. Oh, I played there. See, I see. The, the one with the yellow hair is Otto. <laughs> Pay attention. The yellow hair is Otto. Whatever that orb was with like eyes, like moving really quickly. You were seeing something. What is this thing? What is this creature or, or thing? It's so we're moving. It is a. <laughs> we're back in mechas. <laughs> it's, it's a mecha game now. They're so big. This feels very Gundam. I'm moving so quickly. Synchronization. I'm sorry. They just, they just start punching each other. It's like, and whatever this like cube is or diamond, is that a rhombus? Whatever that thing is too. Oh, that's a Gundam. Even Galeon is Mecha. Oh, so Mecha. Gundam versus Angel. And the music, the music is incredible. Whatever this thing is, raising into the sky. And it seems like there's another countdown or warning. I'm so confused and I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I, I feel like the less I know about a story when I see the trailer, the more exciting it'll be when I play it for the first time. <sighs> I wonder if that was a limited, a limited crossover. Okay, 4.5, blazing hope. <laughs> it looks like we're in space or something, like a nebula. Oh, those were angels, not, not Gundam, angels. <laughs> you know, you are huge Eva fans. That way, I once called this collab fanboying with company funds. <laughs> you know, they're so real for that. Okay, but the first standard for gotcha music, really. <laughs> so it's all kind of gone from gone from here. <gasps> Babylonia. <laughs> Babylonia, also Japan. It looks like a lot of this is happening in Japan. Where there's a lot of le electricity still. The rest of the world seemed a lot darker for some reason. The girl from another world. Oh, even Galleon. I don't know this character's name. This is also kind of giving Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> miraculous Ladybug. And the moon's red. So you're in. Because does even Galleon take place in like Japan too? Or like the real world? Like an alternate version. So you might recognize the city if you're here. This feels a lot like like near collabing with, <laughs> with PGR to be honest. And so you still have these mechas here. Or are these all Evangelion characters who crossed over? Oh, that's Asuka. And the other games, in my opinion, don't even come close to hi 3 story. Out of all of them, you like Honkai Impact best. It's just confusing. I see media. I see. Really? Yeah, I can understand how it could be confusing. As someone who's already confused. That's so creepy. Whatever this is. Oh, are these the angels? These, these creatures are the angels, and the mecha are what we use. So crossing paths with someone. Is that one of our characters? And the music too. Blazing Hope Asuka. Did Asuka get another outfit? The, the way, the way a crossover character got an extra outfit too. That's incredible. This, this spear is reminding me of the final boss, the, the Terminus. 
from Linda's company R3. I think some of its attacks with like gaze. And it's so it's so stylized. I feel like there's there's a lot going on with this theme. I still I don't know what the like the spikes and designs mean, but I I'm so impressed. <laughs> Blazing hope. I feel like the song goes so well with the title. The first angel. Ooh, since the Eva collab was the one they will never regret. I'd like to share that our light, low light, is a huge Rainbow Six Siege player. Yeah, <laughs> to the point we have a collab twice. <laughs> no, absolutely, Mika. <laughs> absolutely. I, I love when gacha game devs or like creators collab with their, their passions and interests. <laughs> it's so fun. Next is V4.6, Unequaled, Unrivaled. Again, I feel like we see the moon so often. It's been blue, it's been white, it's been red, and yeah. Now it sort of looks bluish. All of these swords and all of these swords in the ground. Some are really big. I thought those were, those were like telephone poles. It's a really big sword stabbed into the ground. Sentience is the cradle of souls. I'm the master of sentience. Sentience. Is that foo? Is this another foo story? <laughs> Immortal foo. <laughs> the story had more time to develop. Oh, yeah, that mention. Doesn't yatta mean like I did it? Like yatta. And the smile, not the sukuna pose. The sukuna pose. And the moon's changed colors or like tones a lot. This also feels very Xenoblade. Very Xenoblade. The smile. That, the smile. The like crazed smile. Ooh, but oh, not a fuhua. Really? And like a chain, very fire emblem sword. <gasps> it's Hersher of sen Sentience. So there are lots of Hershers. Lots of different, are these different people? Or like battle suits for Hersher? Is Hersher a title and not a character? <laughs> Sukuna could never. <laughs> I don't know, guns. I, I think Sukuna could pull it off, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I wonder who's older. Also this like chain. It's like orb with chains. So Limbus Company, very Dante. <laughs> very Dante, all these red chains. And like alone. Oh, it's Sukuna could not there. That's not the Sukuna pose, that's the girl boss pose. Maybe Sukuna's a girl boss too. Maybe Sukuna's a girl boss too. <laughs> but you're right. What a girl boss pose. Oh, it's so cutesy too. Like fun, daily life. I rank battle suit option. So these are lots, lots of rewards we could get. Oh, new bridge steps. Wait, is there a top down? Is there a game over you can play as top down GVs? It looks so cute. It looks so cute. They're sure of sentience. There can, I can go Zabarudo on you. Contacts from ultimate, really? Next is Axor Bunny. Is this the bunny event that didn't come to Global? That didn't come to Ian? Have you heard? SP Valkyrie. The side events introduced a lot of different game modes. I hope I get to go back and play some more. If, if, if they ever come back, I, I'd love to play them. <laughs> Absolutely. The gangs are looking everywhere. Also the animation style. Again, it looks like they're, is that a barcode? Unless it's, it's like a de design or text on this earring. It looks like a barcode. I can live like a king for the rest of my life. I wonder who this is. Oh, the moshi moshi. The, the moshi moshi. So someone's wanted in the background. I think this is one of those bosses from before with like the one half of the heart necklace. Are we at a bar? Vodka. Is this vodka? Is this what happened to vodka? Alternate world. Ooh, does look like a barcode. The gamer girl. P90, the Russian brony hits different. So no more vodka. Sugar, sugar sugar-free grapefruit juice. It's like you didn't even ask if when when you're such you have so much presence that you don't ask if you could like you can get a different order from someone. You just give them what you know they'll like. You give them what they'll what you know they'll like. Oh I mean it sounds like there's music or something in the background. Oh it is Russian. Or or Slavic, Cyrillic anyway. 
Goroden. Goroden? Something. Goroden. <laughs> oh, like Gordon. Goroden? Maybe here? The bunny. What's the bunny holding? Is that a person? Is that the bunny holding a fox? Like in its mouth? I'll be back soon. Silver wolf could never. <laughs> Ooh, alternate world. Alternate world. The music is still back. In the live 2D, what do you see? And there's this like logo. I wonder if this is like Boxeal. Like some sort of mercenary group. Or maybe they're like superheroes. <laughs> but on here. And these are the zombies on the ground. I'm assuming those are the zombies. Again with this cube. Is does the cube represent Hongai? Or or hope or something? And other targets approaching. Less than 10 meters. Oh, I love the color scheme. Again, it, I feel like it'd be complicated. This could be a fun cosplay too. Okay. Gunbare Masta. And you're surprised. Another barcode. Why are you staying out this late? It's like mom comes to pick you up. Bunny Cthulhu. Mom, I'm doing work work. I'm doing mercenary work. Come back later. Oh, it means I'm hungry. Oh, fine prey. Really? The red eyes. It it's like Virgil. It's like Virgil from Limbus Company. You can't tell me this isn't Virgil coded. This is Virgil. Virgil's version here. In Honkai Impact. You know, always, always pouring, being, being a bucket of water on, on all the fine. Ooh, but I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if that character is playable, if we'll see them again, or these bunnies. I think it'd be nice to see this world again, this like other world. Natasha, Honkai Star, how could never? <laughs> For it's you real with the mom jokes. <laughs> Next is 4.7, hacked. Oh, hacked. Also, already it looks like we're seeing people like, like puppets on the strings, like marionettes. Is that what they're called? Like, sort of like Bambi, Bambi Nata from, from PGR. <gasps> Except they're en our enemies. Welcome to our theater. The butterflies too. I wonder if the butterflies are like yin yang and they're associated with one character. Oh, that looked like a cafe. We're back in the city. Trendy paradise on guy third. Watch ravens. <laughs> it's literally punishing gray ravens. It's literally punishing Grey Raven. And here, there are these like drones. This this almost feels like like a crime scene. Like a crime scene. Keeping the key. Whoever this futuristic like robot enemy is. And a hacker. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is funny. Definitely other world. <laughs> Time. Oh yeah, Vaminata. No, exactly. A dumb mom. Her shrimp dominance. Han. Han. Chat's going crazy for <laughs> Chat's going crazy for some of these characters. So again we're seeing these bunnies. Is there only one? Are are you the bunny? <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen season two. <laughs> Opening. Finally a worthy opponent. Haxor bunny. Hacker bunnies. <gasps> the slow mos. The visual effects are so nice too. Yeah. And this <laughs> Was that a, a bomb or an energy drink? I'm gonna have some fun. So we're fighting these really big robots. I have to dodge in this game, don't I? <laughs> we have to dodge in this game. Time to say goodbye. And the choreography, this visual, the transition here was so good. The active tracking. Gun P90 goes burr. Oh, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew for real, for real. I feel like I haven't had Mountain Dew in like forever. And you're just walking away with the sirens in the background. It's like a Grand Theft, Grand Theft Honkai. GTH. Hacked. So whoever this other character is, I'm assuming is, is the boss at the end. I'm so curious. Again, it feels like the story is going all over the place. It's all over the place. Next is Toy Box. Trailer for an Essering Battle Suit, Starcasm. That's such a fun name. Except it sounds a lot like Sarcasm. 
<laughs> the sarcasm suit. Are those chains? Oh, and someone like stuck here um, among chains. <gasps> Masquerel is yay from Theryman timeline. <gasps> Do they not have arms? It's like they're all these like copies or or, or mannequins. Oh. And the red moon. I wonder if the red moon represents Honkai and the blue moon represents who we play as and the white moon is like peace or, or balance that we're looking for. Why would you refuse to join? Oh. oh, this is so sad. A monster that only destroys. Are they torturing whoever this is? Oh. And the like distorted voices. Is that seal? It, it is seal. Oh, that's a theory. A plant theory. This song, I heard it on part two of Oh Max or Metal Gear. Oh, you have unlimited tries on Home Guy. You only have like five in PGR. Really? Yeah, I feel like a lot of Slavic characters are just drawn really well. They're one of our kind. What does that mean? One of our kind. That's seal. So, so there are two seals, and this is this is red eye seal. Oh, and like a slash. Did you? So the only other time we've seen this is when Clockworks died. I think you just killed whoever this was. Oh. Oh. You're on the ground. You broke too easily. You did just kill someone after torturing. Did you? That's their head. Oh. Try harder. And I, I'm not sure what this flower means. It's like, it's like white and pure. Or, or like unblemished or like clean, whatever. While in a puddle of blood. Is that like how seal is, seal is, is this how you view yourself? And unlike that merciful idiot. I don't know. I wish you would be laughing. <laughs> That's funny. Love seeing faces distorted with pain. <laughs> this, this is Project Moon. Project Moon is seal. <laughs> Confirmed. There's an association with the moon and and distortion. It's it's literally Project Moon. There's still a fight left in you. So whoever your torture subject is, it's like you make them fight you over and over. It looks like we're on a body of corpses. This feels very Cromer too. Very Cromer from Limbus Company, like Kanto 3. Oh, you're sure of two faces. It's begun. I wonder what Seal's motivation is. Like, what do you... Do you just want to kill people? <laughs> do you just want to have fun or enjoy yourself? Or, like, what... Like, what's driving you to all of this? I'm so curious. And then Cliffhanger, of course. Because of course. And just a long dark screen at the end. Five tries in PGR. Oh, like attempts. Oh, plot armor comes later. Really? Motivation is seal. Oh, the motivation is the other seal. Yeah, because that came up a few times. Hey, Venus, soda. These dolls just yapping until you get trauma arc. Oh, oh no. Next is 4.8, the Phantom of the Theater. Chat, we're in IS2. It's integrated strategies too from Arcanites. Again with the butterfly. Oh, and the sad. Is the seal an empty shell? And this other, like, figure. Oh, comforting. They're both together. It's like two sides of the same person. The blue and red. Theater of domination. This throne. Also, this, this huge. So we've seen puppets on strings before. It looks like the characters from the last trailer that we're beginning tormented are like the marionettes or puppets. Do you, are you a controller of the puppets? Oh, you're just a big puppet too. And this red and blue. I wonder what, what would happen if both seals came together. Like if, you know, like if, if somehow they, they merged back together, if they were ever separated or or maybe they're just different, like, versions of each other. It's like it's a fight for balance. I'm feeling a bit... Patty, help them! <laughs> not, not the arrow combos in chat. My one weakness. <laughs> the arrow combos. Oh, they're holding hands, though. That's so sweet. And so here's our, our like, evil seal. 
Starcasm. Starcasm near. Is it is it next or near? Starcasm next. And the animations, the music is so nice. And the visual effects too. It feels so like like desperately angry, but also there's like a joy coming from it. Like a satisfaction maybe. We're fighting these like creatures too. Is it ghosts of the past maybe? That's the girl spotted. <laughs> it's a Hersher domain. Oh, oh not evil. Red seal, not evil. The red butterfly. Are the butterflies associated with Hershers or seals? Not evil. Imagine if they landed on each other's sides. The Phantom of the Theater. I wonder if there are other <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera references. Stan Wars. <laughs> the most wholesome, cute thing ever. And Virgil. Oh, Magic Girl Sirene. Old Times and Mauve Cascade. Butterfly is more of a seal motif. Oh, Red Seal is a rude, not evil. Oh, I see, I see. You, you know, someone, someone's just rude sometimes. They, 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 they slash you. They, they tie you up with chains. Yeah, yeah. You know, just, just gotta, just gotta work on your manners a little, a little more. You know, I, I totally did that too. Before I learned how to have manners, how to not be rude, I, I would just chain people <laughs> upside down. Okay, Outworld Traveler 4.9. Butterfly imagery. Oh, it's Seal's thing. I see. Sun rises and the mood falls. Again, yeah, all remain unchanging. The eternal dusk. Is the eternal dusk meant to be on guy? The like dusk that comes to the, to every world, and we see this creature, like coming to maybe destroy or reset the world. Oh. Is that Paimon? Is that Paimon? No way, that's Paimon. That's actually Paimon. That's actually Paimon. I've never played Genshin. Chi Games collab. Oh, it's a Genshin collab. Not exactly evil, just the embodiment of violence. Oh, I see, I see. This is in fact Paimon. Imagine Paimon's an elf in the game. The voice acting too. Oh, and this arrow, the drums. Oh, Princess in the Verutelung. Fischer. Fischer. Is it Fischer? Fischer. The strings. The strings are so nice. Also, we're in like a really beautiful forest. Like there's plant life everywhere. It feels so alive. And the guitar too. The guitar working on. Again, fighting these like dragons. Oh, that's German. Chains and whips excite before I confirmed. Not excited. Not excited. Again with the sword. It feels like weapons have a big have a big role in all of this. Like the Spear of Destiny and and the like fire sword and the ice sword. I don't know their names. It's in this now. Is that a Genshin character? Maybe Paimon's the only one appearing. Again with these zombies. The music too. The music's so nice. So nice. I, it makes me really curious about like other potential crossovers. I feel you did a massacre against the German language. Wait, really? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I I like to apologize. Ich. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know how to say it. I think ich is like me or like I. Those are all Genshin. I see. I see. Yeah, I've got to get better at, at ad libbing foreign languages, <laughs> at understanding pronunciation. Outworld Traveler. Oh, and Honkai X Genshin. Nice, nice. Oh, my life app for foreign language is to just type the word in Google Translate and press the voice icon. That's fair. That's very fair. Heat of Trifolium. This looks like such a fun game mode. Yeah, honestly, same, Zeru. So we have this, this hull, this hull, this, this hull, this hull. Because like CH is like guttural, maybe. So we have Thisul, Madrak, and Kaking is Carnelian. <laughs> nice, nice. We're gonna massacre the German language more than oh no. So we're back here. So we're back again. As like our post-credit scene with Kiana. 
So Kiana and this other character we've met before will settle this. Or is this the Lucia Alpha parallel? Is this the Lucia Alpha parallel? Not like intentional parallel, but like <laughs> it's just kind of it's kind of there. Also, these blue eyes in this teaser look a lot like Gojo. <laughs> they're they're giving Gojo's eyes for me. Oh, has anyone told you that Kiana has the same voice as Luna? <gasps> no, I didn't know that. Zia. Kiana and Luna. Oh. Next is 5.0, Inherit the Flame. So we're back underwater. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. I think that's how to say it. Maybe. Oh. These are the only words you can say or remember. Oh. This is that. The purple-haired character we saw before. I don't remember your name. And you're hugging someone. Oh. When the darkness sees the night. Did it? The text runs so quickly. I made a promise. You won't lose to her. I wonder if Kiana keeps leaving or losing to the same person over and over. And like that's what's setting off the Honkai. The most hopeful and inspiring chapter ever. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the, those are tears. Kiana's crying. And this red crystal, whatever whatever it is, it's a rupee. <laughs> we're, we're in the Legend of Zelda. You've set the sky ablaze. Oh, you've lit, you've lit my way. That sounds so romantic. If these are related characters, forget I said anything. I'll follow the path you paved. Oh. So Kiana doesn't exist anymore, and someone else is like replacing. Kiana, flames, flame scion, destined rebel. Oh, the life 2D. Kiana is Luna and PGR. We call Luna as Calm God Kiana. And Irene and Arcanites. Oh, can use Dante DMC pistols. I see, I see. The music, the music feels so like. But what's the word? It's swelling. It's it's got a lot of tension. It's like we're at our pivotal moment, and oh, it feels so sad too. Like there was a big sacrifice that happened or something. Oh. Fire sword. That seems like a really strong swing. August 12th. Oh. Inherit the flame. Accepting. Oh, self-acceptance. That's so sweet. Also. <laughs> yeah, you know, all of that horrible things. All those horrible things are happening. But meanwhile, we have an amusement park that's, that's just vibing. <laughs> On an island somewhere. You know, in a corner of the world, untouched. <laughs> oh, is this a summer event? A holiday August. <gasps> like, the, the beach event. Nice nights. And this is the end. Oh, familiarizing yourself. This place in our past. The Elysian realm. It's, it's Elysium. <laughs> it's Elysium's realm. <laughs> From Arcanites. But who are you? And the trailer ends. I feel like the cliffhangers, the cliffhangers, the like post credit trailer scenes go so hard. They go so hard here. There's another duplicate. Oh, Kia! Pink Jesus. A context we won't spell under any circumstances. Really? Fighting with everyone together. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to learn what the ultimate means. I'll have to learn about the ultimate lesbian Jesus. <laughs> So real, CL. Oh, sacrifices were made. Oh. Next is Elysian Realm concept trailer. Again, I feel like we're seeing these crystals. I wonder if they have any connection to the artifacts we've seen before. I think that there was like a water, a water chapter, like really early on. And they were talking about finding the something of something. I wonder if this is similar. This is the final escape from Doomsday. The destined tomb for flame chasers. What are the flame chasers? <laughs> oh, you like Elysia? Oh, crystals are... <gasps> crystals are Elise Bauer. Elise Bauer, I see you. <gasps> the singers in the background, too. The 13 people who never became heroes. Are these the sacrifices? Or are those 13 shards that, like, rep like represent people from the past, maybe? I have no idea. <laughs> This feels so ominous. 
Eden Su. Eden Su. Four and seven. So they're toasting to the white heaven and earth. May time halt. And who is this? I feel like we've seen you around. Is this Aram? The heroes from oh previous eras. Like Honkai Honkai one one and two. Flame chasers chase flames or something. Big sense. Jax out. Jax out that the flame chasers would chase flames. Shine like gold. That's such a pretty visual. I wish they would linger more. I feel like the transitions happen so quickly. So the leaves falling, this cup, which could could be filled with blood or like wine or something. And our, our friend by the tree. So iconic. Kalpas and Sakura. Six and eight. Are these all past heroes? Of the 13. It's a toast to those 13. Oh, 13 flame chasers. The heroes of the past era. Further killing is meaningless. <gasps> this is voice acting. Is this? I think this is Nikolai's voice actor. This is Nikolai from Bungo Stray Dogs. This is Jojo, I think. <laughs> or not Jojo. Is this Dio? Is this Dio's voice actor? I I know it's Nikolai's. I'm pretty sure. From BSD. And I think I heard Nikolai is the same as Dio. <laughs> Kalpas mentioned. <gasps> is this Kalpas? That's totally the same. It's not Dio's? Wait, it's not? It sounds so similar. It sounds so similar. <laughs> it's fine. Mobius and Hua, Tinan's well. Dio's a lot more distinct. Oh, it's Subaru. I see. Well, <laughs> it's been a while since I watched the beginning of JJK. Or, I mean, Jojo. Both. We will redefine. Humanity itself. I mean, Subaru's voice actor is still pretty big, though. And this, like, this visual. Oh, Kevin! Kevin, the chosen one. Kevin, not only heroes can save the world. <laughs> I love that Kevin's getting attention. Mobius, my beloved. Ooh, Mobius is so real. So real. Yeah, Snake! Yeah, I want to know more about Kevin. I, I want to see a whole story about Kevin. They're called heroes because they saved the world. But didn't they fail? The world's beyond saving. Yeah, so what did they do? Even so, we must become heroes. Oh, Kevin, the fracture. Limbus Company. <laughs> Limbus Company ego. And like that, that reality fractured in the crystals. And that's, that's Ellie's power. They lived pridefully to the end. Oh. I wonder why Ellie has this connection to them. Those are the flame chasers. So they all... All these fragments do represent those people. The unfinished journey. Oh. <gasps> but your path continues. I wonder if we can go back. I wonder if we can go back to that era. That era at all. Go along the footprints. To witness their crusade. It seems like we will. I'm also... <laughs> I'm also even more invested now. That it's not just... It's not just... Characters on airship fighting robots. And... <gasps> Alicia was number two. Alicia was one of the 13. What a reveal. What a reveal. Ellie is one of the 13. Hashira. Kevin was originally a male version of Kiana. In a previous game. No way. No way. Kevin from Ordinary Student became the last warrior. We're about the end of the world. Really? I haven't played the previous game. Maybe I should. <laughs> Maybe I should play all the MiHoYo games. Because it seems like there is a connection, even if it is kind of vague or hinted at. Next is Pristine Realm trailer. Also, the way they revealed, the way they revealed the number at the end. I was not expecting Ellie. <laughs> I was not expecting Ellie. So all these crystals. And whatever this. Oh, that's the bow. Is this Ellie's weapon? Did Ellie die? And all these crystals are left? This music sounds too, like, like, ephemeral to be happy. This is like funeral music. Mm. I'll remain here. Ellie might have died, sort of. Oh, there's the piano. There's there's the minor key. Mm. Miss Raidan. I wonder if Ellie's trapped in one of the crystals. Or like, in memories, or pocket world. Has her generation, generation seen such a flower? Mm. Someone's playing the piano. Are we in a simulation? 
We're seeing like numbers. Or heaven. So the 13 are, are stuck together. But in somewhere that's not the real world. I, I'm assuming. The way these like crystals keep fragmenting or shattering. <gasps> Test subject. Are they all trapped in... Welcome back to reality. So Maya is the test subject. It was able to maybe venture into the crystals or into whatever crystal world that is. Weird. I, I have no idea what's going on, but it, I can tell it's really sad. I'll see how tough that one is. Okay, pretty a flower. This pink elf, oh. This pink elf, Ellie. Totally happy, totally happy. And the music, the music is so good. The music is so good. The strings, the way the, the, the low parts came in too. Iconic. Also these visuals, the way they're like crystals coming out of the ground with all of these attack animations. And whoever that like shadowy figure is. The, the way Ellie seems so happy here, when it seems like this might be a really bad ending. It's like this, this world of crystals as an ultimate attack. It's not back to reality. We're so back to reality. Oh, Alicia, the daughter of a deity. Really? Also, all these figures in the background. We don't really see much of. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. <laughs> the human form of existence will never reach the truth. Okay, first of all, Moo Moo. <laughs> Arknight's Moo Moo. The human form of existence. So are these like, are we in some sort of deity? Deity's place? I know they said it was like some sort of heaven or afterlife in the trailer. Weird. Again. <laughs> Again. So cryptic. These trailers, even more than Punishing Grey Raven, I think, leave me with more questions than answers. <laughs> Which I think is good. That's not a horrible thing for a trailer to do. Infinite Future 5.2. An overseer. I'll leave the rest to you. Durandal. Understood. So, Durandal again. <laughs> again, Durandal protag moment. <gasps> the former HQ. That's that church. The church of Shikstal from, from other trailers. Did Grandpa choose this site? <gasps> Are we time traveling? Again. <laughs> again. Auto? Auto arc? <gasps> no way. Music company under the guise of a game company. Absolutely. Absolutely. Genius device. I owe you my thanks. Otto. Otto, the leader of World Serpent. So, so Snake. Snake Arc. And who's this other... Who's this other person? Key of Revel Revelation is no longer of use to me. Is that Kevin? Or Adam? And is this the imaginary tree behind? Best character ever. Oh, the grandpa's Otto. So they went back in time to see Otto. A snake isn't a predator that gives a predator that gives up easily. I think the snake was on Ellie's Ellie's pristine realm visual in the background. Or another event before. We've seen this character, I think. Yeah, this like ground green haired character. Next one is you. The expression. <laughs> this feels like watching an anime cover. <gasps> Infinite Ouroboros. Of course there would be snakes. Of course there would be snakes. <laughs> That just makes sense. A new specimen. And do you not have legs? You just have like a tail. Like these tendrils instead of legs. Also the visuals. The way you're a playable character. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, Mobius. That's Mobius. I feel like... I feel like I saw Mobius one time. Like Mobius used, Ouroboros used his names. And like one piece of media. I think it was a Xenoblade game. It was a recent Xenoblade game. And I thought it was like original or the only game that made that reference. And then after that, it like snowballed and everything I saw used Ouroboros <laughs> or Mobius. So all these spikes on the ground, you like sink into the ground for an attack. And this crow, <laughs> the crow, it's Virgil. This is the red fraud. <laughs> the red fraud, PGR trailers are more questions and answers. The more questions to make you ask and find out in the story. No, and that's so clever. So clever. Same voice as Owanshi in the book. Ruja. Absent. Midnight absent. The claws. Again, 
The animations look so nice. I... Are those... Are those feathers? It feels very feathery. Yeah, I think they are all feathers, like, flying around as visual effects. It's so stylistic. It's so stylistic. <laughs> Honestly, go off. Go off. I love how each of the characters has a really... An, an incredible time to shine in the trailers. They're all painted in really great lights. Even if we don't know anything about them. <laughs> even if they're so cryptic. So there's this artifact. And someone we've been looking for. Infinite future. <gasps> incredible. Incredible. No notes. <laughs> no notes. Wow. Oh. And next is Post Dusk Odyssey. 5.3 Natasha. Oh, that was Natasha. The, 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 the crow. The one with the crow battle fame. A hundred unidentified life forms. A cannon. So they're fighting. They're fighting again. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Mobilizing in groups. Are they clones? Clones of like one of those Adam or Kevin? Where? Auto. Are they auto clones? We have half a day to stop him. Is that you? Oh, I'm leaving for tomorrow to the future. I'm assuming that's what this means. And taking the past with me. Past. This trailer is so pretty. This this feels like an anime trailer or a game trailer. It feels like it's the culmination of so much. Of so much all together. And we're seeing some weapons from before. Some characters from the past. We're seeing past characters. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic. <laughs> Carol. Carol is so bog. <laughs> or is this the first time Carol's been playable? Carol. Carol's definitely giving a feeder. <laughs> a feeder from Arcanites. And the animations too. The way it's it's so stylistic. <laughs> And the way they're like engines, or are they jet engines? <laughs> In each of these fists. <laughs> it, it feels very, it feels very, very like, it has, it has attitude. <laughs> it has so much attitude. <laughs> and I think it really reflects Carol super well. <laughs> At least from what I've seen. Also that little, little shot with like dessert stew. So much personality. The best villain arc, really? Auto-cloned or, or bodies that use that he used to become 500 years old. Really? Wait, they are auto clones. Time runner. Are sure of Flame Scion? Time runner. So all of these Hersher. So are Hershers like. Is it Archon? Like Archons and Genshin? And there are Hershers in HI3. They did a great job. Carol Peppers. Is this the first character who's had a last name in the trailers? <laughs> is Carol the first who's had a last name? Or did Carol die? And this is like, you've done well, I'll take over. That was Kiana. Like the awakened Kiana. Oh, or is that Branya? <laughs> the sheer moral panic in the ending of this arc caused... Oh, the sheer moral panic that the ending caused in the fandom? Really? Archon, but stronger. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we're like Genshin, but you know, way stronger. <laughs> Wait, 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 prettier and stronger and, and cooler. All the things. And next. Open world. A post Honkai Odyssey. So, is this another future story? Stars above drawn lands. Like, with the aliens, the space invaders. The, the, the space creatures. Oh, please don't die. Oh, already it's so happy and wholesome, totally. So someone's on the verge of death. Is this copyrighted music? <laughs> Let me just double check. I think we're fine. This, when the music is so good, it feels copyrighted. And the 3D animation, it really, they really stepped up. Are these hurdles with an attitude? <laughs> Very brief. Oh, no, everyone does have a last name. <gasps> oh, maybe that's just the only one I heard in the trailer. <laughs> I thought it might have meant something. So we're seeing weapons, we're seeing like creatures running. These drones again. And again, it's like the definition. <laughs> the definition increased. It's like the, the world reset again and and got an upgrade. <laughs> it got a resolution upgrade. 
Are these robots? Are those robots with hair? Oh, and this is Adam. This is Adam. Adam's here. And the music is so good. The music is so iconic. And all of these visuals, all of the animators ate so well. <laughs> they ate so well with this. Afo is sequel. Monkey Part 2 is prequel. Prequel Afo. Oh, so still before this. If Archon is monster, then Hersher is abomination. A man! An H I 3. Impossible. Is this the playable male character? Because I know we've seen lots of like men show up here and there. Wait, are you fighting Kiana? Oh, that's not Kiana. Who was an arrow? Who has arrows? So Adam's fighting against whoever this is. Is Adam playable or the villain? And these large enemies again. And still fighting. The music too. So there's so we see we see May. <laughs> May survives regardless, I think. Some other characters. And Adam with like a scar or some sort of red tattoo. Adam looks so good here. Adam's design is so good. Adam playable. Let's go. Let's go. Adam playable. They really know how to cook their PVs. They really do. They really do. I I I think other PVs have been good. They've been nice. I don't know if anything compares to like the the not professionalism, but it feels like it feels so big. The grandeur. It's it's such a big trailer. It's not even long. It's just it's just big. It feels significant. Like like I have to be here for this. <laughs> like an event. Incredible. So pretty. So so incredible. I want to play this chapter. <laughs> I want to play this chapter so badly. <gasps> okay. So next is five point four. Silver Wing Beyond. I, as much as I, as tempted as I am to assume this is Adam because black hair and short hair. Floating buildings persist. Local cold front intensifies. Strange, strange sounds frequently. Frequently heard. Is that Carol? I'll keep you safe, member. Is that Adam? Night playable when, honestly. Honestly, night playable when. <laughs> Is this still the future? Only traces of resonant activity left. Does that mean like people? Again, these are crystals. <laughs> this is literally Arknights. I, I'm half convinced now that the future of Honkai, Honkai Impact is just Arknights. <laughs> it's Originite, it's a random. <laughs> Looking around, all the newspapers, and these crystals like popping up out of the ground everywhere. Yeah. Again, our greatest enemy, cubes. <laughs> Not the cubes. Oh, that is Adam back. And here's this character from, or is this like a more in-depth trailer of of this future story? I think it is. This is still, it's from, it's from the same event or, or storyline that we saw in the last trailer, I think. Lots of people homeless. So would that make these space invaders? Maximum output. Oh, silver wing. <laughs> Version 64. Also, the live 2D. The live 2D. And this reveal. Incredible. Incredible. I think all the live 2D is. Also, is the Sans gun? Is the Sans gun from Undertale? I just found out about Sans having guns. Like, like yesterday. So. Is that really? I flirted with the idea of playable male characters, but CN was against it. They're losing so much money. Imagine if we had Silver Ash. Just saying. <laughs> Ultimate Blade. Oh. Field ex <laughs> Domain Expansion. <laughs> and all of these. These attacks feel so much better, like, animated, than if we compared this side by side to, like, the first trailers. This looks so good. <gasps> Yo. <laughs> a, ra a random. Pick it up. <laughs> yeah, I, I need that. That's gacha currency. These crystals. I know they're killing your people. They're like causing an apocalypse or whatever. I, I need that, please. You, you know, just, just let me borrow that. <laughs> Eradication model, final shot. So all the crystals, there's like this big structure. It kind of feels like we're playing as two sides of the same story. And oh, with, with all these cocks. And this is, is this Kiana? Is this Kiana again? Activate. I wonder so much. <laughs> Opposed to Honkai Odyssey. 
This music is so... I feel like this music is like taunting us. It's, it's really cute though. The music is fine. Elio, wait, Miss Pink. Oh, Teresa or Teri Teri. Oh, that's Teri. That's Teri Teri. Okay, not Kiana. Thank you so much. We're learning, we're learning. And I think, I think we're making pretty good time. I think we're making good time through a lot of these. Next is 5.5, .5, Equinox Gate. Also, these have millions of views. A lot of these trailers are so popular. I'm assuming because they're animated, but still. But still, I think that goes to show a lot about the game. And I think we're 50 videos through. Oh, your verse. <laughs> yeah, also, by the way, this is my first exposure to like all me hoyo, all hoyo verse. <laughs> my child. So, this red desert, this red sand, I wonder if it's bloody. Oh. Oh, Auntie Daddy, about being a child. Oh, it's a clone. I see, I see. Oh. Kasoi. Ka. Is it Kasoi? Also, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Ibu. Hi, hi. Again with the sword and all these crystals. You can't beat me anymore. I'm a proud Kastlana. A Kastlana. Are, are Kastlana like the people? Or is that a country? I wonder. Again, we're seeing these crystals everywhere. You parachute with her, I'll be fine. Are these flashbacks? I think I saw like a flashback of a flower. Oh, Kiana. Losing to no one. So again, we're seeing the sword. Yurundal Stigmata. Awakening. Kaslana. Oh, it's Kiana's clan. By the way, almost every single PV has the same jingle in the end. It's a remix for every trailer. No way. <laughs> That's actually crazy. So, so it's Kiana Kaslana. Or Kaslana Kiana. Awaken the beast. Humanity is your master. So they're awakening whatever the stigmata is. From from the Honkai. The Honkai control, maybe. Weird. The, the way they're running, and like, I, I know it's meant to seem like animals, but the way their like, limbs, their hands or paws are disconnected, that's creepy. That's horrifying to me. Heroes never die. Oh, they inherit this well. So I wonder if the Kastana clan has had a similar role in the past, like in these other cycles, and they've all like died. And Kiana's the one to carry it on now. Oh, the most powerful bloodline ever. Really? This is a good place to start your Hoyoverse exposure. <laughs> nice, nice. Again with the mount. There's a horse. I look so futuristic. It reminds me of like I think gameplay I've seen of is it Breath of the Wild? It's I think both of those new Zelda games. Like a sort of skeleton or robotic horse. And all these crystals again. And they come together to the sword. Again, it feels like weapons mean a lot. Like swords mean a lot here. Feel the heat of the stars. Spina. Spina Astara. The life 2D is so good. And the scythe again. The scythe weapon. Dance for me. Oh, the way there are like stars, the stars incorporated, like little star and, and, and glimmering designs. I think it's really fun. Remind, remember about Kevin, the ancestor of Kaslana. So Kevin's also related. So so Kevin and Kiana are related somehow, or from the same clan anyway. I I know like being from the same clan is is not quite the same as being in the same family. Like you can be really distantly related, but I see I see. But they have the same sort of lineage. And this artwork, this 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 character in the front reminds me a lot of like a butterfly. Those those blades in the back that sort of look like one wing. Oh, the artwork is so good too. The feather falling. And I love this jingle at the end. It's so good. Oh, family clan. You should look at Gun Girl Z, a previous game to all of these. I doubt it can be played anymore. Maybe. Imagine we find lost media. We look up, we look up Gun Girl Z someday. <laughs> that could be so fun, Grim. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll, I'll add it to my list. My, my long list of gotcha games. <laughs> there are so many. And next is new concept trailer. 
into the deep. I think we're making pretty good time. I, I still think we're, we can clear all of these today pretty easily. The artwork is so pretty. The, like, the paint splotches. The sky. And there's someone here. Not the chains again. Oh, So sad. So all these colors. The part's not painted. So, who is this? They can use your favorite color. This isn't seal, is it? I feel like this is somebody else. This is somebody new. Part of Phallus. Avery. Crying emote. Is this really sad? Oh, Kevin's... <laughs> Wait. Oh, Kevin's really, really old. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Heroes have their own way of living. Oh, kawaii. So cute. Kawaii. All these little fruits or whatever they are. Oh, and someone's... Are you eating with your tail? Is this your tail? <laughs> the ow noise. Ow. <laughs> the flame. The flame chasers. This is February. We're making so much. We're making so much time. We've got this. Cosma. Daybreak. The music too. It's so good here. Like the swelling. Oh, the earth once craved rain. This visual reminds me a lot of Stein's Gate. And, and who is this? The only offer at prayers. The voice acting is so good. The voice acting is so good. Eppin holes. <laughs> it's giving eppin holes from Arcanites. Oh, a car. <laughs> Wait, literally a car? That's Grisel. Cute and funny. Oh, cute and funny. We became flame chasers. So we could end it. So, Lilvi, Helix. So, are we seeing more of the flame chasers? Like different perspectives? When all <gasps> I think we are. Reality. So, you're welding like, like an engineer. In the end, it's a machine. I'm so curious about all of these characters because they're also, they're also like, pers personified. They, they all have very specific like, personalities, I think. That are really fleshed out. They deconstructed entirely. And create an unparalleled miracle. <laughs> Incredible. So iconic. So iconic. <laughs> Very like majestic. Very majestic. Griseo. Stars. A car. A cat. <laughs> Seven and one. Oh. So you painted one of these characters. I remembered. New places to go. I'm so curious about this character. This painter. And go. Oh, It's okay. The stairs. Reverse 1999 chapter 5. <laughs> I'm seeing all of the connections. At least before her part is painted. Does this involve time travel? This might be time travel. The City of Sorrows. This voice actor sounds familiar to you. This is the introduction of the last five flame chasers. I thought we didn't meet some, so we're meeting the rest of them. Reality Warper. So maybe time travel. Oh, their designs are so, so good. It makes me wonder what exactly happened to them all that time ago. What happened to the flame chasers? Please leave. And how are we seeing this as the captain? Tangled in the threads. Oh, the slow open. You look so sad. Oh, I've severed it now. Aponya. And the way they each have a different word. It's like Aponya and discipline or the others and their like virtue or, or whatever it is. Again, they're so well fleshed out. <laughs> they might not have a lot of, a lot of playability, but... <laughs> But they're nice characters. I think they're so fun. Next is 5.6. Alicien. <gasps> Reverie. So we're back with Ellie again. Ayakir. The forest stand proud. The Matrix in Honkai. Suffers a lot. Oh, that's so sad. So, so here we are with 5.6. Which I'm assuming will continue the Flame Chaser storyline at least a little. Huh? I know what you're thinking. So, right in May. 
I advise you not to do it. Is, is Raiden, is Mei, like, also a protagonist, sort of? I feel like Mei is guaranteed to survive because Mei shows up in the future. Mei, Mei kind of gives Chen vibes from Arcanites. So there's this plant growing. Fletchlings. Yeah, these plants that look darker. Oh, they're weapons. They're not plants. I thought the arrow. So these are Raven's weapons. And they're in the ground. With, with feathers too. Did Raven get abducted or taken? Two of you leave. These visuals. Is this a painting? Like, coming alive? Time. Again, the staircase. All the echoes. And the star. The coin flip. The, the horn. The trumpet. <laughs> this this feels very Limbus Company. If Limbus Company had a really big budget and they and they went 3D with the trailer, this would be Limbus Company. Any person or thing, as long as the pace right, <laughs> the way it just became goofy. <laughs> the way it became a silly trailer. We love to see it. So this does feel like mercenary. Ms. Brand. Part of Fellas. <laughs> the music is so good. The music is so good. <laughs> the meow. The nya. Reverend Calico. Incredible. Incredible. Nah, I'd like 3D. Honestly, 3D is growing on me. 3D has been growing on me a bit. I'll be so honest. And the paw prints. They're so cute. But like, <laughs> the paw print. So kawaii. Suffers a lot. Kiana, Mei, and Bronya are the main three. That's right, because Bronya and Mei are in like the beginning. And they're so cute. And the cat. Neko. I'll sit around for a while. This is so iconic. Also, this reminds me of Ryoshu's artwork with like all the fingers in Limbus Company. Ryoshu's, I think, base, base artwork, base ID here. As always, the music is going hard. Is this vodka? I I have a feeling this is vodka. Somehow combined. Like, in, in some really sad way, this has to be vodka. It's pink and blue. Gypsy hour. Nice, nice. And free and legends. The bravest heroes. Yeah. Silly car. Silly car. Silly, silly. In the end, you came. There's something else. It's so, it's red. Traveler. Are we the traveler or, or the captain? And from here, we're, we're off to see whatever comes next. I think, is this the most popular trailer? This one has like almost 5 million views. I think this is one of the more popular trailers. Song of Perdition. And already we can sort of see butterflies. Oh, no, not the most popular. The secret guarded by the deep end. We're going into the deep end, everybody. <laughs> Get ready to dive. Are these like butterfly wings? Oh, they're like, they're part of a dress, but they do look sort of like butterfly wings. And a typewriter. Now you're qualified to go. This feels so mysterious. And like the music setting in too. This represents everything that is beautiful. Are we in like a wonderland or like a dream world that we haven't been able to go to before? And the visuals, the visuals, the slow motion. What they see is the true me. I wonder if we're still like following the flame chasers. And they're like crystal trap or whatever. It's not the complete me. Because there's Ellie again. And here's this message. The 13th Hersher. Are the Hershers flame chasers? Or is Ellie one of the flame chasers who happens to be a Hersher? Everything about Ellie. Maybe all the... Just sobbed. Hey, Snorkels. As a captain, enjoy the trailers. Thanks, thanks. It's been so fun so far. That transition was so good. That, the turn, the, the turnaround and the transition. So pretty. And it feels very like bug or butterfly. Disciplinary perdition. Oh, chicken wings. <laughs> butterfly wings. Okay, Impact most popular video has 61 million viewers. No way. That's actually crazy for Gacha. The way the way the colors change. I love all these details. The way the wings change and become like, is this a monarch butterfly? Bathe your mind in pain and be enlightened. 
It's like you're going through, what's the word called when caterpillars become butterflies? Whatever the word is, something. <laughs> Not evolution. Please repent when everything perishes. And all this like destruction. We have a we have a heart player. We have a heart player at Golden Diva. How much shines that gold? Photosynthesis. It's glows. It's glows. I'll accept photosynthesis. That's funny. Also, seeing all of these, I wasn't expecting a gun. I was expecting a heart player. I was expecting a heart player, but it's a gun. It's music, but gun. That feels so, it's very Laterano coded, I think, from Arcanites. Oh, and the, the treble clef. <laughs> the treble clef debuff. <laughs> because, because everyone knows the treble clef is a debuff. <laughs> Bass clef is where it's at. <laughs> I wonder if the harp can play like really low notes. And the butler outfits. Iconic, iconic. Ooh, forest synthesis, metamorphosis. Thank you, it's metamorphosis. <laughs> I was giving metamorphosis. <laughs> not the forest synthesis. Oh, they're not her shirts. So the only her shirt in, in that group of 13. The flame chasers is, is Ellie, another Durandal. The, the Durandal fans are eating so well. And they have been eating so well for forever. Paradofa. Paradofelis. And login events. I, I love how the mascot is included in some of these. <laughs> Song of Perdition. This artwork is so pretty. This artwork is iconic. It looks like we can see even sort of a reflection in this water or liquid at the bottom. I, I love that so much. <laughs> I love that so much. Next is Canvas of Stars. 5.8. A nice flower. So again, we're seeing these crystals, like Ellie's crystals. Or, or a random. I've been taking it with me. It reminds me of her look and smile. Is Ellie dead? Or is this another character talking about Ellie? I, I know some of you said Ellie is sort of dead. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe trapped in some other world with the other flame chasers. So who has the crystals? And who remembers Ellie? So we're walking through. It's you. We've seen you a couple of times. Is this Raven? Oh, the balloons. That's a big Ferris wheel. That's a huge Ferris wheel. Welcome, spectator. And who's this enemy? <gasps> the snap and fireworks. The music is so good. The music is so iconic. Also, these cogs. It feels kind of time-themed. Or like, steampunk time-themed. The greatest magician of the century. <laughs> we love to see it. So we are in the Flame Chasers world because we're seeing a lot of them pop back up. Oh, oh, that was May. Get the sob emotes ready. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> Not because of Susidan from Arcanites. <laughs> our, our light. <laughs> but, <laughs> but okay. Okay, this is a good game. <sighs> okay. I have to play it soon. Ugh. Aponia said those who disappeared have become the stars protecting. So these are characters we've seen before. Are those all the flame chasers? <gasps> Did some of the flame chasers disappear? And now they're protecting this one character. But I need no protection. I just want my own color. It's like we're inside a painting world. I, I wonder if a lot of these characters have their, like whatever their heaven or afterlife or whatever this place is. I wonder if it has anything to do with like who they are. It feels very personalized. The music too. <laughs> Story. Story impression. Priseo. The attacks too. So colorful. <gasps> oh, so pretty. Very Splatoon. <laughs> very Splatoon. And and this, this this mecha we have fighting with us. Oh. Honestly, <laughs> I love to see it. Imagine if you could fight with a paintbrush. <laughs> It's like peaceful fight fighting. Just make artwork. And it's like the world, the world around becomes more colorful and it has like painted scenes too. Paintbrush, oh baby. <laughs> what a line. Oh, and the song at the end. Marcia, chapter chapter 30. Paintbrush to lightsaber. <laughs> oh, take notes. Part one is finished and part two is live. Yeah, that's right. Part two. 
Part two is already live. Why does the music sound so good? I know, Akil. I know. Why have why have I been sleeping on this game for so long? I need to play more. I, I need all the gacha. The journey of painting stars. Oh, the artwork's so pretty there. Just in the forest and haunted dusk. I I really like the the, the like is it pizzazz or or like edgy the edgy look I think that this this outfit has too. The colors are so great. Oh, canvas of stars. I I love this so much. I can't wait to play these parts of story someday. Someday. Next is Banquet of Helix trailer. Banquet of Helix. So this is the previous era. And we're seeing a street. A city street. Oh. All these newspapers again. But it does seem like an older time period. Like there's less technology. This almost feels like now. Today. Nah, I like every game. I kind of do though. However, this music is so good. I instantly added on Spotify. You're so real for that, Snorkels. You're so real for that. I was waiting to make a grand reveal, so we're meeting somebody else here. In this era. And then give it a curtain call. Faith in you. Again, time travel. So, Elysium Everlasting. Is that where they're trapped? Inside Elysium Everlasting? That's where the flame chasers are? But it's crumbling and falling apart. Oh, The Elysian realm. So it's like... It's like they died. It's like Ellie died. But it's in this realm. Oh no. The Hersher of Corruption has descended. Is that this magician? Are you the Hersher of Corruption? Your face says you're ready to die. Again, this really pretty view. This, this field of white flowers. It reminds me of Path to Nowhere. The moon. And this silhouette. Oh, the moon is so bright here. <laughs> We're back. Is this Kevin? Is Kevin back? You want me to cheat death and become a surprise? Kevin's the one causing all of this. It's Kevin. I am the con artist. Helical contraption. The music goes so hard. The horns going so hard. Also such a pretty, like, theme with all the cogs. As I said, the Matrix. Kevin! Oh, yeah, Kevin. We can never lose Kevin. We can never lose Kevin. <laughs> This show is starting. <gasps> These big guns, they remind me of of a certain scene in Bungo Street Dogs with Sigma. <laughs> oh, there's <they're> just <laughs> you you ride the gun. You ride the gun and maybe this is an ultimate animation. <laughs> this isn't what I expected. <laughs> it's, it's very it's very black steel coated. <laughs> this would fit right in. <laughs> Even more guns! It would fit fit right in in black steel. <laughs> In Arcanites. The Roaring of Miracles. That'll make everything disappear. You want to make everything disappear. This animation, the like jumping off, reminds me of Persona. Like Persona animations at the end of a fight, I think. Banquet Helix. Banquet of Helix. Oh, for, not for Elise. For Elysia. Oh, so fun. So fun. I love the artwork too. Oh, the little the little cat whiskers. <laughs> so cute. Also, these are summer outfits too for a lot of these characters. Sakura summer. <laughs> summer events coming soon. <laughs> yeah, I, I love seeing every gacha game's take on different. Again, the post credit scenes, they never miss. <laughs> they they always hit so hard. We waved goodbye to Moonlight Night. A Moonlight Night just like this. That line is so sad. We waved goodbye. So that's Ellie. Oh. This, I have to play. I have to play these stories. Please, please, please give give me every gotcha game of her. <laughs> I need to play. So next is Arrow of Novae. 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 Imagine male playable with swimsuit. That would go so hard, Gans. That would go so hard. If I have to rate you out of 10, give you a 9. <laughs> Do you know why? <laughs> because I'm the one missing. <laughs> Akil just, just, <laughs> just, what's the word? Just rising in chat. Just so rising in chat. I swear Genshin fans seeing this makes them shock. Really, I haven't, I haven't played Genshin yet. As I said earlier, this is my first exposure to, to Honkai or, or I mean to Hoyoverse or Mihoyo. 
So, yeah, I'm, I'm blinded to Genshin and Star Rail too. Oh, is this Ellie? In a field of flowers. Elysium. All the petals just flying away. And your crown of like, it's pretty, but it, those brambles, it's like roses, like a thorny, a thorny like crown with flowers. She knew well that one should take all things with them when they pass on to save others from mourning. But she left behind too much. Oh, oh, Ellie. So again, here are these people trapped in crystals or commemorated in crystals. Is this the Elysium realm? Oh, we're still stuck in the flame chasers. Kevin, <laughs> and Kevin is still <laughs> alive and well. Every moment. Are they all fading? Oh, they go woven by the fabrics of humanity. Alicia, Alicia. I, I wonder so much about like why the flame chasers are so relevant in the story. Here comes the violin. Oh, sending you every <laughs> H game gotcha there is. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. It's <laughs> exactly what I ordered. <laughs> the Hersha of Human. The first Hersha. So this is Hersh this is Ellie's title. The Hersha of Human. Also, these are robots. <laughs> these enemies. <laughs> Gotcha. The radiance has graced the whole land. Wait. So, the Hersher of human. I wonder a lot about the Hershers and what role they have. Like, are they just strong people? Are they, are they like the colors in Limba's company? And like the roles get replaced? Or, or are they like different Hershers that have come throughout time? And like, there's only, I don't know. Like, are there different Hershers of history? Or I mean, human. <laughs> are there different Hershers of human? Watch your sap. Again, all these crystals. This feels like an awakened Ellie. First Hersher who fought for humanity. I kinda. <laughs> Looks lonely. I can fix that. <laughs> Do I look lonely, Akia? <sighs> Need to keep this awesome channel. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, so, so wholesome. <laughs> oh, what starts with me also ends with me. Is that meant to be like the world's ending? Happens with the Hersher of human. Oh, all the flame chasers, they're all here. Oh, <laughs> are they all saying goodbye? And you walk back toward them. Not the music. Are they all about to say goodbye forever? And like fade away? I can't do this. I can't do this. And there they fade. So sad. And the music. Not the music, you can't do me like that game. <laughs> you can't do me like that. Project? Stigma, huh? And these one beach outfits too. <laughs> so many summer outfits. I feel like there, there are so many that they've shown. And there's this new timeless grand hall. Air of Nove. Novae. Also this manta ray. I wonder what the manta ray means. Oh. I promise if you play this part, you'll feel like Ellie is, is talking directly to you. Oh. I, I have to play through all of this. <laughs> I know this is 6.0, but still 6.0. This is so far in the game. In post credits. Is this Kevin? Or just another flame chaser? The post credit scenes are so cryptic. They they show it's like it's like they sort of spoil something, but they give you no context. They give you no context. I just want to see. Okay. And next. Preview of Honkai Impact Third Part 1 finale. So this is the end of part one. I wonder how many parts they'll have in Honkai. I never for us as maybe with a beautiful voice. I transcend to heaven in no time. <laughs> That's funny. Well, well, thanks, Akia. I'll take that as a compliment. And, and have a safe travel going up and down so often. So here we are, the finale. It's already here. <gasps> okay, so the world's ending. <laughs> okay, that, 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 that got bad really quickly here. This went very far south. And so everything's on fire. Looks like the whole earth is a place with with conflict everywhere. And and these, I don't know if these are meant to be meteors or shards, like orbiting. Also, so lots of the earth still seems fine, but not all of it. We were going behind the moon. <laughs> the moon. <laughs> There are people on the moon. I shouldn't be surprised. Why should I be surprised? 
We're up to the moon. The animation is so good here too. It looks like there's some sort of shield protecting this place. Looks kind of like gloomy. The entire chapter is a part one. <laughs> All of this, everything has been part one. And there's this like motorcycle. <laughs> Mario Kart. Mario Kart on the moon. And the fire. These flames look so like almost real. And this heart beating. That's creepy. That's so creepy. Is that meant to be Kevin's? Kevin's immortal heart? And is this May? So Kevin. Kevin, what is your motivation? Just to keep going forever? The animation is so legit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's so good. First her share. Yeah, first her share. With Ellie. So wait, we're seeing this duel. I don't I don't want to stop too much too much on these like freeze frames. But this this seems like a, a big moment. Kevin with his sword against whoever's on the other side. Is that May? Is that Bronya? Is that someone we haven't met yet? Are you breaking the moon? Why are you breaking the moon, Kevin? Kevin, no, this is the fifth time this week. We, we can't afford to put the moon back together. Buying replacements, getting replacements on such short notice is is a rough on our resources, okay? Okay? And it does look like you have wings, too. Are you sitting the moon down to Earth? To, like, break Earth? And this is whoever you're dueling. It looks like you have a hunkai or a creature you're fighting with. And, like, fighting alongside. And these other characters are, are running to join. And who is this? Is this is the, that Kiana? <gasps> that is Kiana. Kiana fighting Kevin. So the Kavlanas are fighting. The Kavlanas are fighting. And are, is that is that Bronya? Are they all coming together? Bronya and, and May. I think this is May. For like a final conflict. Oh, this feels so like such a culmination. Like such a finale. Such a good finale. Oh, it's like ending the way it started. And the music. And so we see this picture too. This image of, of Kevin just like hovering. That's incredible. That's incredible. The moon's origin and finality. The moon's origin. What does it mean? What does that mean? <laughs> what does this mean? Explain. Explain. Kevin unleashed full power alone can destroy half of Earth. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, why? What did we do? I wonder if Kevin thinks that destroying Earth will also destroy the cycle, and humans can start somewhere else. You just have to destroy everything. Weird. It's okay. Kevin just wanted to have a cookie. Kevin just wanted a cookie. The fabled Ellie is arriving. Okay, this is Moonshade Ep Epic Trailer. 6.1. So again, we're seeing Ouroboros. So maybe we'll see Mobius again. So Ellie is arriving. Oh, everything's getting darker. Is this propaganda? Is this Kevin's propaganda? The earth is getting darker. I'll receive the most authentic proof of immortality. And the moon. The way, okay. The way, instead of the moon being red. Is, is that why the moon changes colors and has so much focus? Because the moon, like, brings about the end. When the moon crashes into the earth. But now the earth is turning red. The earth is turning red, not just the moon. For a Kevin wire, <laughs> because Kevin. So we're on the moon, and there's there's a lot there are a lot of structures here. We're here with Bronya, Kiana, and May. Yeah, the same three. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin, what are you doing? Friend or foe? This reminds me of of a teaser for for Bungo Stray Dogs season five, or I mean six, season six. <laughs> Just the scene reminds me of a teaser. So we're seeing a flashback to this really peaceful place. Is this like May's inner world? Or is this Fu? This might be Fu again. And the sword. Lear, Lee Su Shang from Wanderer's House. Is this a new character? The way you the way you traced your fingers along the sword. Jade Knight. The animation, the life 2D, the music. In full power, I mean, the PE era, not this one. Really? Kevin seems... <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> I, Kevin, I've become death 
Let's just try our worlds for real. It's over, Kevin. I have the high ground. You're supposed to be chosen. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> oh, Kevin. It's fine. It's fine. I I'm sure we can talk this out. Totally. <gasps> this is like a rain of swords. It reminds me of that scene before. Of, of like a, a landscape with lots of swords stuck into the ground. And I, I wonder how long this character has been around. Or like where they came from in the story. What's your backstory? <laughs> Swords drawn. So many swords. This feels very Gojo. This feels very Satoru Gojo. And a big sword! The biggest sword ever. I thought that was a big shield at first or something. Not the big sword appearance. Just out of the sky. Out of the sky. Oh, Mihoyo just loves moon imagery for some reason. It's been Kiana's symbol. Really? Also this music. So good. We're seeing some new outfits for Infinite Ouroboros. Oh, mesmerizing blue rhyme. Nibelungen. Tromlight. Tromlight. So it looks like we have a Maka here too. Oh. I love the flute. I love the end card music. It's so pretty. Moonshade epic. Doctor. Dokuta. Are you fading? I, I don't feel so well. M Mr. Stark, I don't feel so well. Oh, that looks so sad. I wonder if that's a possible ending or like guaranteed. Or we lose characters. Next is 6.2. The chrono and the hair. The time and the hair. The unsinkable ship. The so-called new start. It's two definitions. Also, I'm just noticing the O in the Hoyoverse. Is that meant to be Ouroboros? I think I see a face, like a tail. The face may be eating. They don't rush the story. Oh, we'll see. Good and a Dakun type fight for sure. Oh, oh. Ai chan. Was that Ai chan? Is Ai chan okay? So, the endless time sealed by finality. Did you sacrifice to seal something? And this is you. This struggle has been seen multiple times. So this this has happened over and over as like a time loop. And it's time to raise the curtain. So what's happening different this time? This this feels like when you play all the, the endings in the game and you unlock the secret ending or the true ending. Oh, so this group is, is continuing. Trying to grasp the only possibility to write their own story. Oh. And Kiana with two blue eyes. So iconic. I feel like it's come so such a long way since the beginning. Since since they're just going down to fight the Hong guy. <laughs> the Hong guy, the zombies. <laughs> now Kevin's here. And I had a vision of that future in my dreams. So everything's going offline. I and the music Chrono Navi. Ooh. This reminded me of, of Mobius, I think. Of Infinite Ouroboros. Start to support. Is this a character we've seen? I feel like this is a new character. Unless it's a battle suit. And I'm, I'm just missing. I hope they'll make part two justice. Oh, they might. Good and log, good and log in. Log on. Let's go. The hype is real. Oh, good and log on. So, again, we're fighting these, like, simulation enemies. I don't know what they are. We've seen them before. I thought they were like phantoms earlier, I think. Emma. I, the voice acting is so good. It's like a hula hoop. It's like fighting with the hula hoop. The animations, the choreography is so pretty. The choreography is so pretty. Aim resist and max. I, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. And in the name of truth, chapter stigma. So we see this character with like a purple orb. Spectral Raven, 6.2. The music is so good. The music is so good. Also, a lot of their designs, again, I think it'd be so fun to cosplay. I think it'd be so fun to cosplay a lot of these. It would just take a lot of work. Oh, I hope there's an anime Mor Mobius or Michael Morbius fights and warms every anime character. Oh, you meant Morbius. Yeah, the morbing. The morbing. Next is 
Well, this is still in credit scene. Here's what I think at the moment. A Hershur of Reason is nothing more than this. So we have a Hershur of Reason coming. And it looks like something was falling from the sky on the moon. Have we already met the Hershur of Reason? I don't know if we have. Next is 6.3. Symphony of Truth. Ooh, Mihoyo made her playable after like seven years. And she's been a thing. It's very much a trend in Hongai. <laughs> Oh, they lead us to the memory lane since the early days. I, I love parallels. I love parallels in stories. I feel like it's such a good trope and a way to show a lot of the story. It's not just the ants attracted to such sweet dreams. So the moon's becoming like a laser or, or like, this feels like those drones we saw before. All things restored. Stargate components repaired. So we're, we're still fighting Kevin on the moon. And something leaves. I'd like to welcome our guests. Something's lodging from the moon. To underwater. Is that a crystal? I feel like we've seen a red version of this crystal before. Unless this is the same one that's underwater. Let's fight together again. Like the old days. Oh. And, and this... This compass, again, Limbus Company, if it had a, had a 3D trailer. This would be Ishmael. This, this would be such an Ishmael trailer. The real treasure. Branya will redefine the world. Branya! Hi, Branya! So, we're seeing a lot of these characters make, make appearances. Branya will deal the last blow. Branya being the secret protagonist. I love that all these characters are getting their own, like, like limelight. It's so nice. Kiana, Kiana's dad. Oh, Siegfried. That's the Hersher of Truth. Ooh. <laughs> Before uh, now, I'd like crystals. <laughs> Honestly, crystals are nice. And the choreography, the like smoke animation. This this feels so like expensive. <laughs> this feels like expensive animation. Hersher of Truth. <laughs> Is this Siegfried? <gasps> that felt so Gundam. So much for Mercury. The way a lot of like the, the, the mecha like appeared or got bigger, like out of nowhere, like materialized. The animations too, how you work together with your with your, your pet mecha. And like jumping off of it. The choreography. The way these these each of these moves and and motions or are scripted looks so good. Oh close security. I mean, also go up. <laughs> Not the Lee gun. It's Lee. It's Lee. Was it Lee from <laughs> Punishing Grey Raven? You had the big gun. <laughs> Here it is again. There it is again. Who oh, can create everything with thoughts? <gasps> really? That sounds so OP. That sounds so OP. <laughs> Have you ever seen Shattered Stars? Symphony of Truth. I love how even now we're still meeting new hardships. I wonder where the story... I wonder where they've been this long in the story. Are you ready? Kevin? Who's this person with the red eye? Are you ready? Swordsman of Lightning. To cut off... To cut off your retreat. Swordsman of Lightning. Swordsman of Lightning. Who could that be? Oh, the moon's origin and finality. Is that an elf we got? Is that a... Is that a Kiana elf? Oh, all their happy artwork with like sweet, sweet treats. <laughs> oh, so cute. And Maroon Riding Hood. So not Red Riding Hood, Maroon Riding Hood. <laughs> because, you know, copyright, got his day save. <laughs> Red was taken. The full potential of her share. Yeah, hyper real. Ooh, ooh. The animators are the toughest people for real. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. The animators are the ones carrying. Stay tuned for more. That, no notes. Iconic. Iconic, all of it. So pretty. And we're up to version Kiana from Finality, the origin trailer. From Finality, so I'm assuming this is from part one to part two. In fact, Hyper Real Lee and Branya were released at the exact same time. <laughs> no way. That's crazy. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. The full potential. Our light. The authority of finality is right in front of you. So is this like... 
I don't know what this could be. Like a, a power source or something that can reset the world. The reincarnation of everything. I'm assuming this is what Kevin's working toward. <gasps> There's Kevin. Kevin with this, the girl boss pose. But you must have the ability to bear the burden. The burden. The, the music in the background. The music goes so hard. <laughs> These songs the like fast ar arpeggios. <gasps> it's small. But sincere wishes that gave me power and allowed me to keep moving forward. Was that Ellie? So that was Ellie's manta ray. <gasps> Ellie's manta ray and the reflection. Oh, and that's and that's May, I think. We did become her share. We're still human. Oh, oh Ellie. <gasps> did Ellie like combine? Or are these eyes are these eye colors not, not meant to mean anything? Finality is a beginning. Oh, the transition. Is Ellie a sword? Is that Ellie? My wish is to bring this imperfect story closer to perfection. May become origin? Maybe. Oh. Sephora, everything is so pretty. Everything is so nice. It really is. I really like it. So, there's Kiana. And you took the sword. And it changed. Again, we see these, like, these animations. Of, like, particles changing or, or flowing. <laughs> And, and I think there's, a, again, this emphasis on weapons. <laughs> again, we've graduated from, from just gun <laughs> to gun and sword. The hope of humanity is in your hands. <gasps> You're the Hersher of finality. It was Kiana the whole time. It was Kiana the whole time. <laughs> All along. <gasps> That's crazy. The shattering. This is my turn. What a glow up for Kiana. <laughs> a light wing. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounds like a lady. <laughs> and that animation, it's like flowing down. These wings, the animation, the 3D, the animators, the animators were cooking. They were so cooking. And all of these effects. Aww. The path of eco is the meaning of origin. I hey, Limbus Company. <laughs> hey, Limbus Company. Her share of origin. So the first three, the first three are all, are all her shares. Yana, Bronya, and and May, they're all their own shares. May the beginning and Kiana the end. Oh, the most powerful Hersher ever. Origin. I wonder how people become Hersher's. I'm assuming. So they're fighting against finality is now. They're fighting against this other enemy. From finality, the origin. From, from Kiana Bronya. Oh, that works so well together. And also the flower, the blue moon. Again, maybe the blue moon, like representing hope or a new future. The animators are not leaving the studio for real. <laughs> Drew, <laughs> Drew. This cute music, so fun. Part one, special rewards. It seems like you do get really good rewards too, in game. I'm not sure how generous it is because I don't know like how the currency works, but. <laughs> And all these fun events, flowering luminance. This looks so this looks so great too. I only have Kiana finality. Oh gods. You'll, you'll get me eventually. Trust trust. Totally. The gotcha luck is on your side. Auspicious dazzle. I, I love how hopeful the music is in the end. It's so good. Version Kiana coming soon. And this was still a year ago. That was all a year ago. And Kevin. Kevin. You, you good? <gasps> Kevin became whatever this thing is. Ke Ke Kevin. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. <laughs> so Kevin's the, the real final boss. I wonder if Kevin survives this somehow. <laughs> somehow. And makes it to, to part two. Or maybe part two is a world without Kevin. A world forever without Kevin. <gasps> part 1.5 concept trailer. Hailing from Nagozora. And falling into a vest. Chat, we made it. We made it through one. We made it through part one. <laughs> and 1.5. Imagine if Olympus Company Cantos were this long. <laughs> it it only takes like three weeks. Three weeks, I think, at most. Or, or like three parts for Olympus Company Canto to finish. But <laughs> a part one that lasts like a year. Oh, it's like reconstruction. There's a crane. The city doesn't look as bad anymore. Oh. And it's... A suspension bridge and these motorcycles. 
Aww. Are they both riding together on the same motorcycle? Aww. Is this Kiana and, and Ronya? Oh, yo, Ferris. The music. <laughs> the music again. So, again, again, motorcycles. Oh, a relationship between the animators and studio is like fish and water, <laughs> not fish and angler. <laughs> Akio. Oh, it should be. I see, I see. I'm back. Welcome back, Raven. Oh, so being chased by more enemies, it's like it's like you save the world and then suddenly this big mecha starts fighting you. <laughs> this big mecha just starts <laughs> obliterating you. So going faster. Huh? A chase scene. <laughs> the numbers. <laughs> oh, and and this this like screen. This reminds me of 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 Kiana in the beginning, the first cutscene. But like one of the first when Kiana like jumps out of, of space and like puts on this set of goggles. That's a big robot. That's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> so we're just running. Or maybe luring the robot to a trap. Again, another weapon. And these plants are growing. It looks like some sort of state. Like spear. Some sort of spear. The flag. Can we see what's on the flag? I don't think so. It just looks purple. Let's try and like a see for real. <laughs> for real. Ooh, 1.5 is seal time. Seal gets more focus in 1.5. Is that seal on this motorcycle? And the way they're like glowing as they as they grow and bloom. That transition was really good too. And these blue meteorites. Why do I feel like by averting one catastrophe, we have set into motion another? And it's like part one, sure. We got we got past one checkpoint, but but now something worse is coming. An ice tower. And some birds in the background. Oh, not the chains again. This does remind me of Seal's cutscenes from before. And how Seal would like red seal would torture people with chains. Oh. And here, is this blue seal? And that's the end. So cryptic. These really are. These really are like teaser trailers. And <laughs> honestly, the best guide. The best guide. Next is 6.5. Hot Sands Escapade. And we're still we're still a year ago. This is from last March. Okay. 6.5. So the earth is fine, normal, safe. It looks like we're in are these meant to be slums or, or just like a heavily po populated area? Oh, waiting to be rebuilt. It's like the game only up. So we're helping with the rebuilding. The process. What is this? We saw this before. This orb. It was in a flashback in the past. It was like yellow or flashed blue. I remember seeing this. I remember. I just don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Seal rides bike. <laughs> nice. I feel like it, it must be so scary to ride a bike. With like no protection. You're just there. The place has been raided. This must be Incognito's MO. Is this Incognito? Are we about to meet Incognito? An arm? Not a single clue? It's Detective Zeal. Detective Zeal. We love to see it. Someone insists on keeping us out of there. I wonder if we'll meet Red Seal again. The security cameras. Under surveillance. This red eye. Did you just break the camera? Are we fighting cameras? <laughs> so there are birds. Is it all a simulation? Oh. This this really cute, like, bear. <laughs> the bear hair bow. <laughs> so cute. That's too many words. <gasps> We're in the desert now. <laughs> We're making progress. We're moving forward. <gasps> Is that a tambourine? The tambourine weapon. <laughs> oh. Nice, nice. <laughs> Dockery. Oh, quicksand. The music changed too. And these like, like ripples. <laughs> the, the, the editing. The editing with the audio. Also, these look like jellyfish. Like, like desert jellyfish. <laughs> Maybe. They have so many like tentacle things. Oh, Susan. Oh, Governor Sire. Just to follow the temple. Imagine, imagine it's like a rhythm game mechanic. <laughs> Following the tempo. It could be fun. It, it kind of reminds me of like dancers in Fire Emblem. I haven't really played a ton of Fire Emblem, but like, sort 
It's how I imagine dancers would be. Hailing from Nagazora. New story chapters. 36. Chapter 36. Meow Town. <laughs> I need to play Meow Town. Oh, the cat too. The little kitty. Oh, it is. Susanna. It is rhythm. Nice. <laughs> and turn up the music. Oh, you see Ellie. And another elf. <laughs> An elf in event exchange. Nice, nice. That sounds escapade. Oh, and our post credit scene. Is this red seal following blue? Where are we? Oh. Or is red seal only viewing through like a camera? That was so creepy. That was so creepy. I, I don't really, I, I still don't really know what to expect from 1.5. It seems like we're in a desert. There's this new threat. <laughs> That's connected to the color blue, maybe. And next is woven from last snow. Oh, this one's shaped differently. I think we can... Let me resize. Can I resize? Video shaped so so weirdly. Oh, that, that didn't make it better. Okay. I wonder why it's it's like this. Let me just... Let me just change change the, the cutout here. And I think we'll be fine. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. I can just put this back afterward. Okay, go to the substance of the Shariak name. A space where reality and fiction blend. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> so there's like there's this like there are these ranks of statues. And this, this spear from earlier with some sort of design on its flag, its banner, the moon. The moon isn't blue or red exactly, but weird. So there, it's it's so quiet. It's too quiet. I don't like this. <laughs> this feels sus. This feels so sus. <laughs> and oh, peaceful music. Is this an open world area? This might be open world. Salt Snow Holy City. <laughs> oh. The music is so nice. This seems like a happy ending. This seems like such a happy ending. <laughs> happy city with a totally not suspicious tower. Visitors who question our orders bear the consequences. So they're being punished by whoever this hooded person is. Blue eyes. Is this seal? This almost feels like another time period, too. A red butterfly. I wonder if this is Red Seal. Oh, this must be Red Seal. And just out of reach. Oh. And the music changed again, too. Whoever's been following, it's a Red Seal, isn't it? Who's following? Unless we were following an enemy. So we're facing off against whoever this is. Kiana again. I'll gently calm you down. There are so many characters. <laughs> there are so many incredible characters with so much story. It's, it's kind of hard to keep track too. I, I do like how it seems like we're getting a lot of progression and a lot of characters arcs and stories at the same time. Like back and forth. Sudden enlightenment of everything. Dreamweaver. Iconic. So you can summon these, these other soldiers to fight with you. Oh, or like, like dream them up. It's all an illusion. And this other, is that an enemy? Or no, this is, this is one of our, our units. The samsara repeats. So you have like a mask covering your face. And are those arrows or spears? It reminds me a little of the spear with the banner. I wonder if they, they're connected somehow. And Kiana. Remove restrictions and activate overload. Terminal aid. This is such a this is such a fun skin. I love how the, the mecha hands change so much. They change so much with each of the outfits. I think it just it just works so well. It works so well. So here's gameplay footage. Tracking judgment. Looks like they can transform to or have some sort of effect. So bad. Again, so confused about the story. But I'm, I'm really intrigued by all of the visuals. 
the hand graffin. That also reminds me of of Refraction Railway 3's final boss in Limbus Company. So you just come up out of the ground. Oh, and now super cutesy. Story chapter 37. Teddy D. Oh, Teddy D. Magical Quest. Like, Magical Quest is that, like, retro game mode too. I, I can't wait to try those. Eventually. Eventually. Woven from last snow. So much is happening. So much is happening. We, we can learn. We can learn. So this red is fading. Or this red power is glowing. I wonder what it means. I feel like Ahonga has had such a glow up. <laughs> has had such a glow up from the past. And I think the screen is shifted back to normal. Oh, Prometheus. They look like Bronya. <gasps> but not Bronya. That's Kira. AI. CIC. Kira. So it's does it all over again. <laughs> It's, it's Kira. And I'll just move this over. And I think we should be fine. I think we're, we're so back. We're so back. Okay. And let's, let's keep going. Let's keep on going. This next one is 6.7. Okay. 6.7 string stars trailer. String stars. The music already seems like very lots of tension, very ominous. Looks like this place is crumbling. Like some sort of tower from the past, maybe. It reminds me a little of <laughs> of the tower from from Punishing Grey Raven. The one in the other trailers. Like Lee's Tower. And there are these creatures, these like Enki illusions, maybe. And we flash back and forth. So we see these creatures invading. They look kind of peaceful. <gasps> The flashes so people everyone's holding their head and then all of a sudden we cut to like them being slumped over oh and with this red view this feels like what would happen if lobotomy corporation abnormalities like broke out this feels like all of them breaking out like fragment of the universe or something oh, if the world allows time i may have found a better way a better way so who could this be I do have all of these. I don't know if they're called zombies. <laughs> Are they zombies now? Do these count as zombies? <laughs> I don't know. Most normal day in HI3. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Prometheus. Yeah, most normal day ever. You know, we, we live a, a casual, normal apocalypse day. <laughs> this is just a, a casual Tuesday. But you and I have no choice. I wonder what that blue... Is it scarring? Or like glow means? We have no choice. So they're fighting. Is Kiana seeing the future? We're coming back from the future. This is the crisis we have to deal with. <laughs> the Kiana and guns again. <laughs> the animation. It reminds me a little of... Oh, Shukri's Starburst. I love this. <laughs> I love this music. The guns reminded me a little of, of Oda Odasaku from Don't Go Stray Dogs. <laughs> There was another, like, duel before. But yes, this feels very Odasaku. <laughs> oh. So, a different... A different Ikiana duos. <laughs> All the spins. I wonder if people can actually do flips like this in the air. Oh, Kira? Oh, this is Kira, and not Kiana. Lobotomy Corporation. <laughs> we love the Lobcore mention. End of Days Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, just a, a casual End of Days Tuesday. <laughs> it happens every week. We get a new theme too. Once we once we ward off one apocalypse, we get another. Guaranteed. Aim at your heart. That feels like a Persona 5 thing to say. S something about your heart. Is it Persona 5 that has like stealing hearts? I think that's the one. Oh, and the seals. And this new music remix. Sugary Starburst. Slinic Ripples. Ocean ocean dive outfits i love how again we're just getting so many outfits all the time <laughs> it's crazy i don't know how often trailers release but but still i, I feel like i feel like what hunkai impact trailers might lack in numbers they more than make up for in quality <laughs> it's like there's so much work and effort and animation put into all of these and it's insane <laughs> it's actually kind of insane oh by the way kira's 50 
Really? So, so, our, our new Kiana is actually Kira. I see. And Kira is 50. Strang stars Kira. Nice, nice. And, oh, post credits. It looks like we're watching Earth be destroyed or like swallowed alive by fire from maybe space where. Is that the other apocalypse? Is that what caused all of the burning? Yeah. <laughs> Why do they have the size? <laughs> Why? Okay, I think what I'll do is oh, I'll make another capture. I'll make another screen capture. Or can I just zoom out? Is zooming out better? Maybe, maybe zooming out. That's not better. Never mind. It just gets bigger. <laughs> The screen just gets bigger. Let's try. Is mini player the same? Oh, mini player. That's mini player. Okay. So, so this time, I'll just add another window capture and we can watch it that way. Earth pollution. <laughs> Earth pollution. Yeah, for real. Absolutely. Okay. I'll just add this capture and we'll be right back into it. We'll be right back in. But, but yeah, so far, I feel like it's escalated so much. It's escalated so much. So far. And it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy how, just how much a lot of this world has changed. And that the growth we've seen characters have. It's, 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 yeah, it's kind of really satisfying, I think, to see everything come into motion and all the parts come together. Even if I, I don't know what's going on. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one's, this one's so big. This one's so big. Okay. Well, let's just move down and we'll watch it this way. <laughs> we'll watch it this way. Here goes nothing. Okay. I'll just, this is like when someone POV, a VTuber sits in front of you at the theater. POV, a VTuber sitting in front of you. <laughs> the fusion of two bubble universes. That's what that combination is. So the bubbles are, are like kingdoms, right? The Konkai kingdoms and some of the others. One that started with an S maybe. These fluctuations are the same as that from the Fallen Star. I wonder, is Kira like a fused version of Kiana from a couple of, a couple of bubble universes? Maybe. Oh, someone just slashed down. So we're seeing... I feel like every time we've seen this red, red background with chains, we just killed them instantly. But those chains, chains of yard. I wonder if Red Seal is connected at all to this. Oh, is this like a kid version? Key to breaking the deadlock might be in this world. Oh, that's Bronya or I. So Red Seal in the bubble. Is Red Seal a bubble universe seal? Oh, and Seal, they're both together, trying to reunite. Oh, that's so sad. And everywhere you go, that's that's those blue flowers. They follow blue Seal. And we're seeing this like DR with antlers. And that's the, the merging, I think. They're like black and white, off in the background of these two circles coming together. The merging. Kira is Kira. <laughs> I see. Too old to be an idol. Idols can be 50. Idols can so be 50. What is this age shaming? <laughs> this age shaming in chat. <laughs> and uh, so all these memories they have to get there in their flower field. Is this a new seal? Oh, two new seals maybe. Or just one. And and whatever that like creature is, is it a reindeer? <laughs> A caribou. Spirits of the sea. I, I feel like I forget that. <laughs> is Seal connected to the sea? Or just happens to be for this arc? Her sure of rebirth. Oh. And there's this other figure in the background too. Like a puppet. And along with the animal mascot. The animal like mascot. Or, or like the, the summonable animal. Yeah, whoever that... That doll or other person is. Going at the dawn like morning too. Oh. The 
animations. The animations. The way they look like butterfly wings. It's and it's like perfect because because someone associated with with butterflies. Of course they would be associated with rebirth and like metamorphosis. Go turn to the embrace of the sea. This this reminds me a lot of like Undertide Solster or Solstice Novice from Arcanites. Pick the thorns and all these butterflies. And the end. Oh, daughters of the sea, both of them together. I feel like we haven't seen Red Seal in a little while before this arc, before the dream ends. And this isn't a flame catcher, is it? This might or a flame chaser. This might be a flame chaser. The first Hersher of Sea. Oh, the Sea of Quanda. Rebirth, and the other is death. Oh, stranded in the sea for a while. I I feel like <laughs> we have to catch up so much uh, on what's been going on in these stories. In every character's story. <laughs> yeah, we were just stuck in the ocean for a while. Silky Violet Dream. The artwork for these outfits is so pretty and colorful and and cosplayable. <sighs> oh, rebirth break the waves. Saha and rebirth. Iconic. <laughs> Iconic and post credits. Zelle. Everyone's waiting for my return. <sighs> the comeback, the comeback arc. <laughs> we, we love a good comeback. We love a good comeback. And next, the next trailer still has this. This like resolution. And we're so close. 6.9. <laughs> and I is. I think the most recent is 7.3. Rebirth and death are the same. <gasps> kind of. Kind of, yeah. Sele <laughs> newborn arc. <laughs> yeah, literally a new a new seller and a new arc too. <gasps> oh, Celine Arc Arc Queen. Absolutely. Okay, cutting dreams at dawn. Why does this give me this title reminds me of like People talking about cutting onions. Cutting onions at dawn. This better not be sad. This is better not make me cry again. So we're seeing all of these lines. I don't know if this is meant to be like cells. It kind of looks like those. Have you seen, is it worm.io? The game where you like eat worms and, and move around. It looks like they're all just worms moving. Like in that game. Really high quality animation. But like time is passing. Love you first. The way it changed from the Hoyo and like otaku, otakus to save the world. <laughs> is is Hoyoverse what me Hoyo was before? And it like rebranded? As representatives of Phosphorus. Oh, we're going to a new place. We're in Phosphorus. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is this meant to be, be like like Rome or, or Greece? Or I don't know. What places to have this architecture? <laughs> I, I don't know anything about like Roman or Greek history. I know some people say, people say, my Roman Empire. <laughs> I, I see so many memes. I don't even, I don't even know the Roman Empire. Why do people think about it? The city came into existence due to a meteor. Oh, oh whoever did rebrand from Mihoyo. I see, I see. But a catastrophe changed its fate. So something else happened. So... Okay, it was born from a meteor. I kind of assumed the meteor would be the catastrophe. My great detective, it's been a while. This sounds kind of romantic. <laughs> like like those those stories of like a detective and a criminal that fall in love. Or like flirt by, by solving each other's mysteries. <gasps> a star! <laughs> the music just became so happy. It just became It's it's fine. There's nothing horrible happening anymore. Oh, <laughs> is that an elf too? Radiate the light. I love the star design. The star looks so fine. The wink. The wink. This there's a character in Bungo Stray Dogs who has there are a couple who wink like this. I think Nikolai and Sigma get a wink like this with stars. Laura, this looks majestic. And it really does though. I I'm not wrong, am I? Oh is Sirin. Sele is her sure of death, but doesn't use death power. So it's just rebirth. Oh, crying. Is it- is this really sad? Is this really- is this really meant to be sad? Mad Jules Jojo! Absolutely. Absolutely. The music is so great too! Magic girl time! Miracle magical girl! 
incredible. The music is so happy as you're like slaughtering these zombies. You know, the music is just, <laughs> it's kawaii beats. <laughs> so fun. Imagine fighting a boss who, who was just like happy-go-lucky and and like had this music playing, but was ruthless the whole time. Like, like Sans Undertale boss fight, but with this music and it's like happy and smiling and cutesy. <laughs> I think that could be fun. Stay still. These scissors. Again with these like fractured, fractured crystals, which remind me a little, maybe it's bubble universes. Maybe it's like the, the Elia world or, or Ellie world. Or I'm back, what did I miss? Ooh, seven karma. The, the world ended, but we saved it. And a lot's been happening. A lot's been happening on. Oh, four is never wrong. Oh, is it pronounced Sirin instead of Sia? It's Sirin. Or, or si Sere. Captain Verse. <laughs> Luna's story is really sad. Oh, Luna's story. After the blood moon fades. The music is so happy, though. How could it possibly be sad? Also, another crossover with Promare. Promare, maybe. Born in Flames. The music is, is way too happy for these like really sad titles. Born in Flames, The Blood Moon, <laughs> Burning Rescue Soul, or Seer, Cutting Dreams at Dawn. Aww. And that's what those scissors are, like breaking through the illusion. And our, our post credit scene, <laughs> creating more shimmering things. <laughs> Shiny things are fine. <laughs> And you fade away. That was such a fun trailer. <laughs> that was so fun. I I love seeing how the tones change. Like obviously, I, I get the idea that there's like a, a Hoyoverse feel. <laughs> there's a Hoyoverse feel to a lot of games, but I, a lot of these trailers have had very distinct vibes, I think. <laughs> and that's been so fun to watch. And and kind of sad or 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 other things sometimes, but <laughs> but I think that's the point too. 7.0. Promise to Luna trailer. Here comes the Luna story. Sirene voice acting is amazing. The scream haunting me. Sirene Magic Girl and Luna. Oh, they're Captain Verse stories. Captain Verse stories. See, it looks like Earth still has some light. Is Luna watching from like space? I think Luna is watching from space. It's Sirin. Sirin. Or, or Sirin. <laughs> The siren. Is it siren? Is it siren? Siren voice acting. Throughout this timeline and space world, I always bet on my skills before it's 2024. Imagine. Imagine. Oh, it's what's Grisio? Grisio. I never know how to pronounce these names. Once I that's another reason I kind of like hearing the dub. So I know how to pronounce them in English. Though there are names still and like the face voice acting. Did she wake up here? Oh no. Oh no. All these flashbacks? That's not a good sign. Are these like dead friends who you're dreaming about? Does Grisa does want to read manga? <laughs> when manga's canon. Incredible. First video games, now manga. So we're catching up with the, the flame chasers. Or... Is their world falling apart again? Or like the... The Ellie... The Ellie world. Everyone was happy. Is it like glitching? So it's not showing the things they enjoy or their paradises, but now it's... Well, their trauma. And who's this character? The one punching. Who could that be? Coming to save Griseo. Is that a hummingbird too? This looks like a hummingbird. Maybe. Or, or a moth, I don't know. The tone shift, the tone shift. Now I misspell every name. I'm not spelling. Am I mispronouncing names that badly? Fire Moth. Oh, still alive. Still alive. The red moon. I thought we I thought we were done with the moon. I thought we were done with the creepy moon. It feels very like a vampire-esque, which I think is fine. And the sword. Spinning sword. Again, the choreography. Oh, that's a chainsaw. <laughs> that's a chainsaw, not a sword. Will you dance with me right here? It is a chainsaw. Lunar vow. 
crimson love. Aww. Next, I'm gonna hear that this is some sort of, like, vow to save someone you really care about, and it, like, destroyed you or caused you so much pain, and oh, This is so sad. They're just chainsawing people. Somehow that's a lot more gruesome than a sword, I think. And the music, too. The music's so, like, chaotic and, like, losing... Not losing a hope, but it feels a lot more aggressive, I think. And sporadic in some ways. Oh, and the animations. You're so fast. You're so fast. Stay away from that person. It's like you're trying to protect someone. Specifically. Oh, you have two chainsaws. Also, this outfit, too. I think this would be such a fun cosplay. I think it's so iconic. Do the chainsaws? Are those exhaust pipes on a chainsaw? <laughs> Is that what they're called? The things that like cars have sometimes. Oh, Kancho. Oh, is Vampire? No way. The finale of Captain Vers story. Oh, the, f the finale? Maybe. Imagine. Imagine if the Captain Vers story ended. Outstanding. And Team team Bear. We love a Team Bear outfit. <laughs> the, the, the bear ears. Inversion bonuses. This is a vampire. Promise to Luna. And we see a bat do a bat on the, the left side. Incredible. Luna is alter universe. <gasps> Teresa. Like an older Teresa. It is a finale. So is this Teddy? Like waking up from a dream of another world? I, I still need to learn all the character names. I have probably butchered them so much. <laughs> so much so far today. <laughs> Next is Starbound Painter. I think maybe all the rest of the trailers might be in this format. This like wide video. <laughs> I like my videos wide. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, Starbound Painter. Coming soon. The Blind Traveler and the Nameless Mist. The Seed of Destruction. Watch there be a sure of Destruction. <laughs> they grew. They grew. Weird. So, again, we're seeing the rain, which we have seen before. It, it just looks darker. Like, like, decor. Like, more, more monochrome. Oh, that's, that was adult Griseo. The animators are stopping time and doing more work at this point. <laughs> yeah, the animators. The animators put so much effort into this. It's actually wild. So there's this sort of barrier in a storm. And these creatures. And something, whatever this white light is or, or this bright color is. All the lightning. Yeah, it's like, it's very sepia tone. Like, like shades of gray. The guardians of phosphorus. So there, there was phosphorus earlier, but I don't remember exactly what, what phosphorus is or who. We're the guardians of phosphorus. Oh, that's a place, isn't it? Our home. Oh, the light connecting to the future. All these cats just being so happy. And this crystal. Again, I wonder what the crystal significance is. Do the crystals show you memories or AUs or bu bubble worlds? Seven colored wishes are converging. So Undertale quoted. <laughs> the seven souls, the seven colored wishes. Are those, are each of those people the wishes? Oh. <gasps> this reminds me of, is it, is it Fire Emblem Engage that has visuals like this? Or, or Honkai Star Rail, or Genshin. Which one has like wishing on a star? Is that Genshin? This feels like pulling in Genshin. From, I, I think a couple of videos I've seen. Cosmic expression. This, this life 2D, the music, iconic. Fossifora. Oh, adult Griseo is a Jedi. Oh, you mean like instead of a paintbrush? Yeah, because Jedi. Did I have, are they, they have lightsabers, right? That was a, a Freyren reference. <gasps> really? And there was a Black Clover reference. <laughs> are there lots of anime references that are flying over my head? I need to watch Freyren. <gasps> and, oh, you're right. It's like a spinning laser sword. Uh, against this rad, rad enemy. <laughs> Who's just kind of taking a breather. <laughs> you got, you got. That red enemy is, <laughs> is having a bad day. <laughs> a bad day. And whenever you defeated this enemy, something happened. Starfall. 
So you literally, you literally pull down a, a meteor, or like a meteorite, against these enemies. Earthbound order. This feels so much more space coded, like like galactic or or space and star coded. I think. Starry voyage. Strike back. The groceries. I love this artwork with all, all the vegetables. That's so me. I, I would drop the vegetables too. Favorite movie is Star Wars. Oh, oh really? Are, are all of those, are, are movies and anime like from our world canon and in Hongai? They already did Jojo reference. They made a Jojo reference too. All of this flying over, over my head. Eternal Night's Embrace. And this is the Hersha. Oh, an outfit for Hersha of Rebirth. It's like a, a darker version. All of these outfits are so good. So are they called outfits now instead of battle suits? I feel like this game has changed so much. And Seize or Sears, Sensational Sentience. Bonus event. Again with all of these chains in the background. Starbound Painter. So iconic. So iconic. And breathing. Fire. Okay. Okay, you can't tell me. There's not any connection to Undertale. <laughs> Seven colored wishes that are sort of like the souls and a ruined city and determination. <laughs> and determination. Your eye color changed. Unless it was like just the light. And, and that's it. Okay, we have two more videos left. Two more. The Wings to Mars and Dream Seeking Voyage. The Jojo's for real. Hawkeye has Tesla and Einstein, and King Arthur, Fallen Fant Fantasy 7 is Final Fantasy 7 reference. <gasps> Fallen Fantasy, <gasps> really? <laughs> Fu, is this a Fu new form? Okay, let's, let's look and see what Fu is doing. <laughs> How's Fu been? It looks a lot more colorful here. This feels like a Genshin character. I feel like I've seen a Genshin character who looks like this. I don't remember your name though. So that is Fu. And Fua became a bird, some sort of bird, and can fly. Or are these all, are these all Fua? Are these all versions of Fua? Like, in different worlds. And it's like the, the mirror shattering. This reminds me so much of like shards from, from this company, from Project Moon. So here, so Fua is falling. Oh. Through, through all of these possibilities and outcomes and and pads maybe here. The animation is so pretty. That felt 2D. That felt so 2D. Not in a bad way. <laughs> Not in a bad way. And you're fighting all of these enemies. Oh, falling in style. Ooh, I joke about Fu Hua as <laughs> Kazuha's mom. Yeah, I think it's Kazuha. It, it feels very Kazuha. Feng Huang of Vicissitude. Of Vicissitude, Feng Huang. Taking the lead. The animations too. I feel like they go even more like above and beyond and all out with their fighting animations as time has gone on. Like all of the colors, the sounds too. The animations are so pretty. They're so pretty. And the music, the way the way the percussion hit and all the angles changed. Again, I feel like these characters are really getting their best sides shown in all of the trailers. They're being done so well. And using my energy into the moves. Like the raging land. I wonder what that must be like. To like have different versions of yourself. <laughs> Is that weird? Or, or like normal? Like it just feels natural. Like nothing changed. <laughs> oh, They stand together. As a bird flies by. Oh and we see all of these pairs of characters together. The parallels, the parallels. <laughs> oh, wild phoenix chase. Oh, the music is so happy. <laughs> the music is enough to maybe make me cry. It's so sweet. Kazuya. <laughs> From Rent, Rent GF. Oh, did I say Kazuya? Kazuha. <laughs> Evie and G. It's really Kazuha's mom. <gasps> Imaginary tree. You're right, Kans. What if? Or, or maybe they're related somehow, some other way. They're connected. But yeah, because of the... The AUs. Why did I press the wrong button? Because of the AUs. They they could be connected in another way. 
You're so right. Tonight's my time. Is this another idol outfit? Do you go? You go. You go. The wings to Mars. And there's this light in the sky, this star falling, this comet flying, soaring. I wonder. Be a confrontation. I felt really peaceful. Not so much a confrontation. Maybe like a reunion. Okay, last trailer. And it's... <laughs> Oh, there's one more. One more in this other format. So we'll just switch over to this format <laughs> and be good to go. Look at us adapting. Adapting as we go. Oh, no, dear. All through who forms, followed by timeline. Not alters. They're not alters. So they're in the timeline, just like future versions. Highlights preview. And this is part two highlights. Mars Crisis. Also, the animation. The animation. <laughs> it's so, it's so pretty. It looks, it's so fluid and smooth <laughs> and smooth. And maybe, maybe someday my computer will run it. <laughs> maybe someday. But yeah, these environments too. It's like a real place. I wonder about that anchor with like the hole inside. Iconic, iconic. <laughs> Oh, I think it'd be so fun to visit a place like this for real. Like a place modeled after like game cities. Imagine if there was a real city modeled sort of. Obviously you can't like fly the same way maybe. But like modeled sort of after a lot of these areas. <gasps> Brand new team on an alien planet. The yo-yo. Sinadi. So let's let's look at the team. Sinadi. Oh, I'll, I'll pause quickly. Erdos <gasps> Hithia with guns. Coralie and Zenadina. I love that we're getting like a new trio. Sort of like, like, like we had the past trio with Bronia, Ame, and, and why, why, why is it fading? Why is it fading? It starts with Kiana and Kiana. The hammer animation. And, oh, the anchor is your weapon. We just happened to see it and on display too. I see. Weird. Oh, Kukali already be my favorite character. Really cute. It looks like a dog. <laughs> I see guns. You're real for that. You're real for that. Coraline is a broad you want to be. <laughs> I think it's funny how a lot of, like, there are two groups of people. People who skip part one or have just, like, started with part two and others who have, like, stayed through the whole part one. <laughs> so, of course, there will be comparisons. Oh. Oh, I had done. Yeah, we're actually, we're watching the second to last video. The second to last of our Honkai Impact trailers. They've been so futuristic and I, I'm getting a taste of what a Hoyoverse is like for the first time. Yeah, some are really sad. There, there are a lot of guns too. There's so many guns. And this hammer, that looks like a hammer you could ride on, like a hammer scooter. And a yo-yo. This is Ethan. Ethan from Arcanites, for real, for real. And the animations were so pretty. Rekindle the spark of civilization. I, I can't wait to play this someday. I cannot wait to play someday. And the last... Okay, so the resolutions keep changing. So we keep, we keep adapting. We keep adapting. So for the last video, here we are. 73, the most recent. I think this released like a month ago. So we're close to another. Maybe. Maybe. So let's get started with Dream Seeking Voyage. So we see maybe some sort of phone or device. Imagine this is like, like a, a Tomogachi. A Tomogachi. You took it with you. Or was it a brooch? Your shoes changed colors. And it seems like we're in a thriving city, sort of. Or a more peaceful place. I think it is like some sort of phone. And the yo-yo. The way all of their weapons are being used. And names Zenadina. I can't quite tell what this last name is. Alimpao. I promise I only touched it once. Or maybe twice. This should be normal. I don't know what that quote means. Again with these colors. The style. The animation style is so good. And hand holding. The hand holding. It's it's real. It's real. <laughs> Absolutely. 
That looks like there's security. So maybe we're breaking in somewhere. Or someone's watching. That's creepy. Someone up here. With this, this reminds me of that crystal. Like, like, the, the crystal from, <laughs> from the water. The, the Hesher, the Hesher crystal for, for, who was it again? Bronya maybe? Or no, not Bronya. Seal, I think. And there, wait, there are people, there are civilian people enjoying their lives. We did it. We made it. <laughs> it's okay. There's this dark underside of the world too, maybe. Or another possibility. Never mind, forget I said anything. The world's falling apart again. <laughs> because of course it would be. A person. Maybe a person like coming out of a digital space or manifesting. <gasps> Is this the flame chasers? Imagine if we sold the flame chasers again. Or are these new characters? That scene reminds me of like the, the Attack on Titan first season opening, I think. <laughs> But they all stand together. And this hooded person. I think we've seen you before. Like a few times. Imagine it's Kevin again. The seven shoe. Oh, civilians in any form of fiction will never find happiness. Agil. 7.4 trailer came out earlier. Unbelievably. Oh, wow. I wonder if I could find it on, on YouTube somewhere. But I'm so fine. We might just end here. And enjoy 7.4 in the future some sort of fox enemy or like a wolf enemy fighting our trio and <laughs> they're all unfazed guns hammer <laughs> and yo yo search freely army of stars <sighs> this feels very arcanites this artwork and the pose i think it's just because it's 2d deep space and good the fact that they're getting more 2d artwork is so fun i think so you're shooting these you're flying birds, maybe. <laughs> when you jump up and punch a bird or fly a b not fly, kick a bird. When you jump up to the bird and all these yo-yos. I, I wouldn't punch a bird, by the way. Oh, and this person in the background. I wonder who that second person is. The animation is so fun. <laughs> or is that a combo attack? Maybe. Before I got up, yeah. <laughs> already uploaded i might add it okay then if it's already ready i'll, I'll go watch 7.4 after this <laughs> absolutely valkyrie bolt storm Alia. hey andrew Ooh, you're just in time for for the, the new 7.4 trailer <laughs> we're about to go find it new system kind of really i see i see oh is there a Sinadina trailer too and all of these <laughs> The guns! Yeah. So many guns. Surprise. The animation style. The way the way this was animated, I think, is so pretty. Where it's like skipping. Is it skipping? It looks like it's like it looks so much faster. Everyone vanish. And the 3D. Valkyrie blast and metal. Oh. So good. It's so good. So it's like these are animations of them all fighting together. It's like teamwork for real, for real. This feels a lot more like Xenoblade, I think, than, than like PGR compared to part one. Maybe I'm wrong. Like in some ways, now that you have a party here. 100 years of solitary shadow. Music as always though is iconic. A feast in data. And their designs. Oh, and a new elf it looks like. I think there is a new elf over there. Midnight moon, the color scheme, the color is so fine. And again, I feel like all of these characters would be such fun cosplays. It'd be so fine. Soaring wings. And all of these other bonuses. So fun. A Fall Guys event. Imagine, imagine. And a new logo for Honkai 3rd. Has it been this way the whole time? I feel like the logo just changed. So fine. Okay. I will. Let's just close this. I'll, I'll look for the next video on the channel. Has one uploaded on YouTube? I don't see anything new on YouTube for 7.4. So I, I think we might come to it another day. This was so fun. This was so fun. I feel like I learned a lot. I, I'm so glad a lot of you could show me. Show me a game you really care about and 
introduced me to a lot of iovers. <laughs> a lot of trauma. Gotcha trauma, because of course, of course there'd be gotcha trauma. Why wouldn't there be? <laughs> Why wouldn't there be? The music composer is definitely David Goggins for real. Oh, really? Wait, actually. Elia and Coralie come from, an, come from Earth. The same organization with Kiana, but they're juniors. So it all connects. It all comes back together. We, we love when it all comes together. It, it all fits into place. So fine, I'll look for somebody to read as we wrap up. Tomorrow, actually tomorrow is, is Limba's company. The new part of Kanto Sex is, is dropping. And the day after is Arknight's April Fools. I think I got that mixed up last time. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So who do we raid? Let's find. Or I think someone's raiding, someone's streaming. Let me be sure they're still live. Let me be sure they're still live as we get ready to raid. But but yeah, this was so fun. I that was really exciting. Are you still streaming? Let me take a look. Let's raid. Let's raid here. Okay, it's it's a Minecraft game. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, everybody. And I'll see you all star side. It was great to see you. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.